It's time and we get into the turkey. Just fat as hell, you know the beef jerky. Why are you on Discord? Aren't you like 30? On Twitter, hitting up e girls getting flirty. Have your age in a bigger than you'll ever be. More subs on my second channel than you'll ever see. More subs on my second channel than you'll ever eat. Money growing longer than your penis you should never see. You want some advice? Well, here's my tip. Dog, if I was you, I'd probably end my whole shit. Dog, if I was you, lose the weight and go lift. Do a couple push ups and lose those stits. You're a loser and a creep, that's two out of three. Lowy ass shoes on my motherfucking feet. I'ma hit tippy with a two, two, three. Leave his ass dead in the motherfucking street. I see them making fun of you on Kiwi Farms. They're talking about how much of a freak you are. And I'd honestly feel bad. And I'd offer. For you my pity, but I'm busy out here buying me a sleek new car. You just stay away from the goth mommies Shoot you in the head like hot zombies Boy, you old as fuck like Rob Zombie Trying to give couples that slop top Bitch, I'm with Bobby, I rolled up a stogie I hash it on tipster and tell him to blow me You trying to eat burgers, especially Zoe You said you was leaving, you better get going you Gonna deactivate, cry like a bitch Ludo, her OG, you throwing a fit Bitch, I'm some dark, but I'm getting it lit Bring up my DMs, I don't give a shit So count stuck like you in a tub Trying to get bitches to give you a tug All in their DMs like, give me a hug Gain more weight and you gain new subs Honestly, tipster, fuck you Hannah and Amol, she a slut too. Trying to fuck Jalen? Yuck, dude. No IRL lady's gonna touch you. Are you 35 and still beefing with kids? You to lay off the Oreos, word up to Nick. Before we wrap up, got a question real quick. Why do all the hot ones not like dick? I see them making fun of you on Kiwi Farms. They're talking about how much of a creep you are. And you're such a fat loser that no girl would want to touch you even if she's on the ground and needs that CPR. I just put tips in a king size casket. Triple XL. They're like H3H3, but without the money. Your channel's dead. I find it funny. Shout out to Chris, but I love Sunny. Welcome to now recording. Yo, chat. Can you guys hear me? Test one, two, three. All right, we got a new uh, producer right now, so we're testing things out. Let me know if you can hear me. Uh, just, uh, just say in the chat. Just one's in the chat if you can hear me. One's in the chat if you can hear me. All right, I'm going to shout out, uh, shout out to Courtney Morgan, Hellbent, Lord Silver, 1KQ, Keha Cass, uh, Soda. Uh, yeah, so yeah, sh shout out to all the people in the chat. All right, so every, uh, yeah, all right, so I, I'm being heard. So welcome to Now Recording. Um, hi, guys. Uh, today with me, I have none other than uh, someone that is a very well-liked member of the, the Now Recording podcast, Mr. Beavers Vic Wood. Hello. Great to be here, guys. And also with me, uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, also with me producing, I have uh, Beckett of Crabs. Hey, 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 hey! How we doing? How we doing? <laughs> uh, well, Zaylee, if I'm so loud, turn me down. Jesus Christ! All right, I, I, God damn, I'm trying. I'm trying really hard right now. Okay. Uh, no. Uh, so welcome. Uh, so there's been a, a bit of a back and forth between two big men in the commentary community. Two really big men in the commentary mm. community. You have the 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 the, the three hundred and eighty pounder, uh, the big tip, and then you have the the the, the four hundred five pounder, the big boogie two nine eight eight, going back and forth on Twitter. Uh, and yeah, um, so uh, we were going to go over these tweets real quick and read everything. Uh, by the way, make sure to like the stream. I trust, I trust stream Hellbent. Uh, I trust Hellbent. Hellbent is saying that your mic is scuffed, Matthew. How's my mic scuffed? I don't know. I can hear you. Is it just... All right, before we get into it, guys, is it just the, the audio level that's wrong on his mic? Do we just need to drop it down a I little? I sound great. I'm listening to it right now. I sound great. God, right, but... core, core producers, everything's too fucking quiet. I produce, everything's too fucking loud. <laughs> it sounds great i don't know what you're talking about this sounds fucking awesome i'm listening to the stream right now it sounds perfect yeah. how's your window matt like <laughs> your voice is what it is okay well i'll lower my so body says it's my... because you were peaking in volume can you lower your gain like no, input. I'm not lowering my gain. <laughs> Beckett, lower me on Discord. You're fine, you're fine now. Zaylee says you're fine now. It's fine. Yeah, Thanks, Matt, Bestie. Hold on, hold on. Let's, let's, wait, let's, let's ask this, right? Matt, do you know how to lower your gain? <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> that, that's what I thought was the issue. I've there. never had this issue before, all right? I, I'm, I'm, I, sound, I got my air conditioning on. I sound like this every fucking live stream. What are you guys doing to me? All right, I sound perfectly fine. I'm listening to it right now. What the fuck? All right, so I'm going to read these tweets. 
Um, I've got them up on screen. So Nicholas Iorio tweeted out, I can't wait to hear what uh, self-aware tipster thinks about uh, Boogie being a lolcow for a lolcow. And then so tipster tweeted out, if you hit that screenshot for me real quick. Yeah. All right. So tipster, Boogie298 becoming a the quartering ripoff wasn't on my 2024 bingo card, but it should have been. He's lost a lot of relevancy in recent years, and his bank account is looking rather empty these days. And being the lovable Mr. Rogers character of the internet wasn't working anymore because people got a chance to see behind the current, uh, the current and get a good look of what the real Boogie 2988 is like. And surprise, surprise, they didn't like it. Not to mention the fact that the anti-woke grift is extremely profitable, and I can imagine seeing folks like the quartering and Melanie Mac raking mountains of cash on the grift looks rather appealing to a has-been with a career on life support whose only current claim to fame is being the co-host of a podcast hosted by Keemstar, where you are literally there just for the purpose of being mocked by everyone on the internet for being a low cow. I want to point out, Tipster was sucking on Keemstar's fucking dick for, like, the past, like, three years, to the point where he, like, jumped sides on Tommy and, like, started, like, backing Keemstar during the whole baited uh, situation and all when the Keem and Tommy were fighting. So I just want to make this clear. Also, Go ahead. Uh, so just I want to point out the irony that he's, he's calling out Boogie for being milked as a lol cow when he did that, uh, that Ethan thing, the Streamy Awards. Yeah. Which was literally just them milking him because he's a exactly. lol cow. Yeah, exactly. It's just him being milked uh, by cattle. Ethan. And then he fucking, and then he fucking is like, oh, fucking Ethan made fun of Bosch, so he's not my friend anymore. Like, he's, he's a fucking retard. Boogie's a retard too, though. Uh, all right, so what's the other one? Also, I don't think Boogie, I don't think Boogie has very right-wing leaning sentiment. He's still, he's still um, a pretty centrist dude. Yeah. I think, I think the, the most right-wing thing that I've heard Boogie say is line him up, right? Mm-hmm. In reference to the <laughs> the PDF files, That's, is that is, is, is that, that is a right a, wing uh, position or is that just yeah, a that sort right of a general <laughs> position? Hey, look, I, I don't know what's going. I don't know what's cooking in the left anymore. I don't know what they think anymore. <laughs> it's got a bit extreme <laughs> over there. <laughs> All right, uh, finishing this. But hey, anything for a quick buck and a taste of clout, a eh, bookie, even if it means siding with some of the worst people on the internet. Glad to know that all the kind words and encouraging messages you've tried to deliver in your videos in the past didn't mean shit, and it was all just a facade to try and convince everyone that you're somehow the good guy of the internet. I hope for your sake that the grift is worth it, Boogie. But isn't Tipster doing his own little grift? Because he was like, he was like big into like Warski and Ethan Ralph and all those guys in like 2019, 2020, and now he's completely jumped to the opposite side and he's going after like people like Melanie Mack. And all those right wing people, and he's and he's up uh, uh, Keffel's ass, up Keffel's ass to the point where Keffel shits on Tipster, and Tipster's like, "Oh, it's okay, Keffel's. I understand. I was, I was a, uh, I, I went too far, Keffel's. You're right. You're right, babe." Yeah, that's but also. Uh, I mean, it's kind of, it's weird because Tipster's kind of. I mean, political ideation aside, right? He's kind of doing like a little bit of a ladder pull. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, like yeah, obviously yeah, yeah. they're both they're both the same size, but he's doing a ladder pull because I mean he was a uh, boogie was I mean not boogie uh, Tipster was like a big Gamergate guy and and all of that stuff right and he he mm-hmm. sided with Turkey Tom fucking Augie who is the most right wing guy that I think I know yeah right so he sided with all these people and now he's like oh well you can't you can't agree with them I once did agree with them he probably never did agree with them he was probably grifting the whole time. Bro, um, it's so it's so funny that he's like, he, like Tipster came in like uh, post Gamergate, right? And he was yeah. he was propping up people like the quartering and stuff like that. And now he's yeah. like on the opposite side of things, and he's like he's like like being like, hey guys, leave Anita Sarkeesian alone. If she wants to fucking dress up like a, a like a bride and have a, a a wedding party, you know, that's all on her, guys. Come on, that's that's perfectly fine. Stop, you leave her alone, guys. This is, but Tipster was would shit on these women all the time. BX Bullet, Anita Sarkeesian, fucking <laughs> uh, Susie Lou, fucking there's a, like he's always there's been. a a good comment from chat. Uh, he ended thirty years of Christianity for a grift. Oh yeah, true. oh god, fucking true. Uh, by the way, uh, shout out to Stinner, who's uh, a beaver lover. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. Yeah, 
If you want to become a member, you can become a Beaver lover for $9.99. Gets you into priority calls, as well as early access to podcast episodes. And then you have the Bad With Money, which we say your name after the end of every stream and episode. That's only $14.99 a month. And then also, you could just become a Stumpy, which gives you access to membership streams. All that good stuff. So yeah. I also, I also don't think that Boogie's grifting. Like, really? with his, his beliefs and what he's... I don't think he's grifting with what he's, with beliefs and stuff. Because you also have to remember, back in the day on the internet... If you were going to be like a popular, so look at Tipster and then look at Boogie, right? Let's just compare the two. Okay. Yeah. So Boogie was a mainstream internet personality in the early days of the internet, right? Yeah. Where the going rule was almost keep your political shit to yourself, mm-hmm. right? Like you could talk about politics, you could do stuff like that, but try stay in the middle because you you don't want to upset a large portion, right? Because it makes sense logically, like if you. If you're too right, we're leaning, then you're going to alienate the left. If you're too left, you're going to alienate the right. You don't want to be divisive. Right? You want to just... Yeah, you don't, want to, you don't want to be divisive ever, right? Yeah. That was the... Nowadays, it's changed, though. Nowadays, you know, people like a little bit of spice in their, their creators, whether it be left or right. But then, let's contrast that to Tipster. Tipster's mm. always been a politics guy, right? He's never been an outright, like, I'm going to talk about the actual issues that are going on. But the the subjects that he would always talk about were kind of tied towards the right, right? They weren't yeah. object like the hardcore right word leaning, but they were always kind of tied to it, the gamer culture kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Um, so if anybody was grifting, it's Tipster because he's either grifting now or he was grifting then. I think Boogie was just trying to do the smart thing. Yeah, which like is why. This is why if you look at uh, if you look at Boogie's uh, like Twitch streams and stuff, they they're different to his. YouTube shit, because he's more himself on his Twitch streams. Well, it's it's like everyone when Gamergate happened. Uh, shout out to Gamergate Two, Electro Boogaloo. Uh, when it, everyone kind of got a bit more political as well. I mean, you know, this is why Moot got sick of shit. But because Poll and V was so intertwined with all of that, and it it's kind of led to years of sort of anti SJW, anti left wing culture from gaming um, and tips with very much a part of that as far as i'm aware so yeah i I think it's one of those things where he's had to move over because there's nobody will accept him right and when you're Mm. when you're getting ostracized you kind of go in one or two directions you either go further to the extreme you already exist in which is like how people like ralph have ended up or or baked alaska but like tips just lost all his friends and has run over to the left i mean he never seemed to believe any of this stuff beforehand um it's fucking bizarre frankly yeah no you're you're right he became a joke in our community so he had to change his opinions and he was all he was always like hey guys look i you can say whatever you want i'm i you can say whatever you want i don't really care i'm a i'm a, I'm a religious guy but i'm not gonna put my religion on to you you know stuff like that and now he's all like going after religious people uh fighting with right-wing people people who he 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 stuck like he kissed their asses for years and now it's like the exact opposite so i think the grift to me is tipster i think you can make the argument that boogie is grifting uh but but that's boogie like we all we all know this that that's what boogie does uh, i mean well do you remember when uh this is going back a long way but uh boogie was on the panel with anita sarkeesian and yeah. there was a whole drama there because like boogie felt like he wasn't allowed to speak about what he'd been through um and he became a bit of a lightning rod for a small piece of a uh, bit of internet time because he was a beloved creator at the time. Um, right. And then the feminists were going after him. So if anything, he's kind of always, you know, always landed on this side more than than that one anyway. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, I don't exactly. think Boogie's grifting. I don't think Boogie's grifting. Oh. My thing with Boogie is uh, you. I don't, not everybody in chapel this guy, but um, do you know you know Creed, right? Yeah. Uh, you yeah. know when you get in an argument with Creed. Right, and then and you he, say yeah, to him, he, he you're an idiot," and he and he goes, "Yes, yes, I'm an idiot. Yes, okay, I'm an idiot." <laughs> That's what Boogie does. He's not self-aware. So when he goes on the fucking local live, and you know he talks about you know his issues that he has, mm-hmm. right, and he's, he'll be like, "And you know, I know that I personally do the bad about a but you know, whatever." He's got this fake self-awareness about him. He's right. only saying it and presenting it because he's been called out on it on that platform, like within that circle. You know what I mean? It's not like a. So I don't think I don't think it's a grift. I don't think Boogie's a grifter. Tips is definitely a grifter. Hundred percent a grifter. Always has been. Always will be. Um, 
and he's going to burn in hell. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, my dude. I'm in hell. Oh, man, it looks like there is a god, and I fucked up. <laughs> Devil, save me. Kiara, where are you? Kiara. <laughs> turns, turns out God doesn't really like the trans that I had. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, all right, what's the, what's the next tweet? Okay. Uh, next one is, uh, are we done with this? You good with this? Yeah, we're okay, done. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we got this. All right, so tips are fired back. And I, I mean, Boogie, they're like the same person. Uh, Boogie fired back. <laughs> a Boogie fired back. And said, said, by the way, I've always said that about fat people, right? Extreme fatness is like the equalizer. I think if everybody were morbidly obese, we'd all be happier in life as a collective. I mean, yeah, if we all it, end up looking the same, it'd be shorter as well. I think that'd be nice. You know, yeah. like, like that, they, people don't live as long. You know, that they, they use yeah. up less resources. And they develop like an unhealthy obsession with food. So like if they're having a bad, like take Boogie, right? Boogie's dog could die. And if I offer him a cheeseburger, he'll be happy again. <laughs> this is the way their brains are wired. I don't know. That's true. Oh, all right. So Boogie yeah. says, uh, tipster, uh, glad to see you stopped defending Vosh and his lolly porn and horse rape fantasies long enough to type this. But no. Unlike you, a person who got ejected from the commentary community to go fly false rainbow flags, I am no grifter. You are a perfect example of the type of person whose politics should stay far away from video games. I don't want you and your pedophilic shit anywhere near them. Politely go fuck yourself. Jeez. God damn, Boogie throwing heat. You know you fucked up when you upset the Mr. Rogers of the internet. Yeah, Is, he still, the, is he still the Mr. Rogers no. of the internet, or no. is he like the... No. He's like the punching bag of the internet. He's like if like, mm. he's like if uh, everyone in the neighborhood was like, "Hey man, fuck Mr. Rogers. Let's go fuck him up." That's what. That's not, that's, that's he's what like I, Boogie's like a uh, <laughs> like, 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 like 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 what Beavers like like a fucking what buddy? Yeah, moving on. Right, yeah, moving on. Go on. I'll let you finish the thought. Now moving on. We're moving on. <laughs> We're moving on. All right. What's, um, what's... But I'm glad to see that Boogie is fighting, fighting like a man. Yeah, he's. Uh, I, I wonder how much he got talked up in group chats to say this. You know what I mean? Do you know what the sad thing is? We'll never see them <laughs> fight each other because Tips the one even leaves his house to go get menudo with a friend. <laughs> True. That's like right. Netflix. Right. Is, uh, he right. can like I, he can yeah. be wheeled out by his wife. It'll be fine. You just sort of push him out the door. Ah, uh, that's not gonna. That's not gonna work. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's. You know, you need a. You, if you're going to be on the like the same level of resistance and pushing power, mm -hmm. I, I don't think Tipster's wife can push Tipster while she's also. Do you think? Uh, do you think Tipster's little fucking gaming room is upstairs, downstairs, or on the ground floor? Like, does she put him in the ground basement floor. or like ground floor? Yeah, I picture. I picture it like at the very top of the house, like like in the you know like where the where it peaks, where the roof peaks in the in the and pokes up, and it's like there's a small room with like a, an attic. And he's like in there, you know, like the Phantom of the Opera. Instead of playing the piano, he's at the computer streaming. That's what I, just, that's what I picture Tipster. I just can't believe he walks up the stairs every day. Yeah, I don't think his knees are going to take No, 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 no. He doesn't come down. He doesn't come down. <laughs> yeah, but he has to go to work. I think he lives in a one-story house. Intentionally. <laughs> I, I picture the work is all a lie and he just stays in his room. and just. Oh, Zali. Zali, do you know? Is that like legit? Is he... Is he a little basement dweller? Or are you just taking a guess? <laughs> I like the idea that when working from home happened during the pandemic, uh, everyone else from Boogie's work has gone, uh, from uh, Tips' work, fuck, they are the same person, from Tips' work have gone back to yeah. work. And he was like, oh, do I need to go back to the office as boss? Like, no, no, don't worry about it, mate. <laughs> you just stay there. <laughs> it's fine. Uh, what's the next tweet? All right, so yeah, Drama Alert tweets out, it's going down, and then there's this. So this is, uh, this is Tipster firing back. By, by the way, you can tell Tipster is pissed by how much he's writing. Uh, this, is a, this is an easy way to figure out how mad Tipster is. The more he writes, the more like, stressed and angry he is. Uh, who ghost wrote this tweet for you, Boogie? Because we both know a spineless coward like you didn't do it. Let me remind everyone what your original response to me was. Oh, oh. And you want to talk about pedophiles? 
Aren't you the guy who recently literally shared a table with an actual pedophile to chow down on Doritos and Mountain Dew? What did EVP-445 get caught doing again? Oh yeah, trying to meet with a 13-year-old for sex. You keep good company, Boogie. Breaking down, breaking bread with a pedo and siding with literal Nazis and bigots and Gamergate. Damn, Boogie, you sure have changed. Let's hope being on the right side of history this time around goes well for you and that all those friendly gamer gators don't chew you up and spit you out the way Anita Sarkeesian did and had you crying like a little bitch at VidCon because we all know the anti-woke grifters won't turn on you the moment they realize you uh, are, I How? mean, anti will, will turn this on This is Wait. fucking pretty. How is he grifting then? You call him a grifter and then you literally say that since Gamergate, he's been siding with Nazis and bigots in Gamergate. <laughs> Make up your mind. He's either a Nazi or a bigot, or he's a grifter. This is both. This is such fucking projection. Like he's because he's over there on the side that, like, again, yes, the right chews people up and spits them out. That's true. But so do the fucking far left. What's Keffel's just done? She's just like found a bus to throw him under and run the fuck yeah. away. Like this is exactly yeah. what's just happened to Tipster. Are you fucking yeah, kidding me? She <laughs> doesn't even have the self awareness to realize. Oh fuck, that was a. <laughs> she kind of fucked me over. Also, also you can tell that Tipster's been spending time with Keffel's because of how he disingenuously presents the EDP situation. Yeah, Boogie Boogie did not go out on his own volition and go break bread. <laughs> With, yeah, no, it's uh, a EDP. it's a documentary. It's, it's, it's a documentary. He was paid to go. Yeah, like it's it's probably gonna be entertaining too. I wonder. I wonder if but you know what the problem is. You know what the problem is with like with like guy. Like obviously, there's certain situations where like people shouldn't be like have a platform or be put out in a certain way, right? But the problem with guys like the with the lefties is they don't want to hear people. You know what I mean? Yeah, like they're they and it's it's a weird because it's a it's a more recent thing, because like rather hear out the idiots, do you know what I mean? Like let them have their space and let them speak their what they believe, kind the of deal. Truth. So like with uh, EDP, right? Let EDP go on and dig himself a hole. Lord knows those pedophile hunters fucked it up, so at least he can maybe put it like dig his own grave with his words, right? Yeah. I think it's good that he's in a documentary. Yeah. Uh, cause we all know the anti-woke grifters won't turn on you the moment you, they realize how pathetic you really are. What's the next thing? And then Boogie says, uh, I got paid by Mike Klum to go scream at a pedophile he is exposing. When someone exposes your ass, though, I will do it for free. And yeah, I blocked you because you disgust me. It's one thing to yell at a pedophile. It's a whole other one to be you and jerk off to drawings of literal children. When I am done putting you in your place, I will likely block you again. And no one wrote my tweets for me. I have a ton of friends who would. The only friend you have left is Keffel's. But wait, didn't she throw you under the bus for defending Ugh. Bosch? Great friend, lol. But I don't need to help you destroy someone as pathetic and disgusting as you. And you called me a grifter? Didn't you fail? as a gaming creator to join the commentary community, then fail at that to grip the Rainbow Coalition? Ooh, Boogie, Boogie Sheesh. taking the hard shots. He's not fucking, <laughs> he's not fucking wrong though. Jesus. Boogie, don't walk this pack, uh, don't walk this back, man. Stand your, stand on your, stand on your own two feet. <laughs> <laughs> stand, Boogie. Stand, you Damn. can do this. This is, yeah. oh, fuck it. Boogie's the one who actually takes tips down. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine but that? That's, uh, here's the issue, right? Um, book like Boogie's the one who takes Tipster down, but also Boogie's the one guy that Tipster could beat in this back and forth. Okay, well, what about this? What about this? What if? What if going through this Wings of Redemption, Boogie, like who 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 Tipster likes, and who's like kind of like grown up Tipster but less retarded somehow? Yeah, uh, actually turns on Tipster. I don't. I don't think Tipster could take that. Does he have any big content creators or like at least well-known content creators who like him anymore? I mean, I wouldn't even say yeah. Keffels is anymore a big content creator. She's just a person. I don't, I don't, I don't know. How... He exists on an island. Yeah. I think he has, I think he's friends with some like gaming creators, like old, old school Nintendo gaming creators and stuff like that. But other than that, no. Yeah. He really exists on his own island. 
because he's there another the space. one? There is. And you called me, uh, this is coming from a guy, but generally and wholeheartedly, I hope you choose to ch chemically castrate yourself rather than defend pedos. And boy, you, and before you actually hurt someone, you disgusting fuck. Oh, you missed wow. this what bit. Uh, oh, this coming from a guy who went from sexually harassing e-girls to now sexually harassing trans girls. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, no. Uh, <laughs> dude, I, I think I think Boogie's like murdering tipster right now. I mean, is he wrong? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not sexually harassing if they like he went it. From, you know? He went from the goth mummies to the trans mummies. Yeah. Yeah. That's the thing. Oh, shout out Kristen Ark for the fucking raid, dude. Appreciate it, man. Hey, Chris, pop in if you want. We can shit talk tipster together. Uh, you have access to the VC. All right. What? Well, uh, okay. So what's this? Uh, so after tipster got completely decimated by Boogie, his big response was to expose Boogie for blocking. Tipster, of course, has a multiple uh, multi-platform policy to ban anyone who says my name leaked by his own friends. All right. So this is going to be fun. All right. So here we go. First one. All right. Uh, okay. So we already read this, right? Uh, I think so. Did we read about yeah. Posh? No, yeah, I think so. Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. Right. Yeah, we read this part. All right, so this is uh, this is uh, boogie blocking Tipster. Uh, by the way, Beckett, um, have you ever interacted with Tipster? Uh, I I, I have very briefly in in chat. Uh, during when when Tipster was very happy when Ico was going off to Salvo, I briefly interacted with Tipster. Uh, that was okay. that's about it. That's that. Those are the those are the extents of what? my interactions. Thanks. Can you do me a quick favor and can you go to uh, Tipster's account real quick on your main? What's up, knock boy? Yeah, What's sure. Oh, bro, the fat on fat violence is getting too out of control in this community. It needs to be stopped. So you can see I'm un unblocked here. If I switch over to my main. It needs to be encouraged. So if, when Beckett switches to his main account. And boom! <laughs> wow. So you've had very, and you've had cordial exchanges yeah. with the guy, right? I mean, to he be fair, I about. have I have shit talked him on stream, but I've never okay. I've never tweeted at him. I've I don't think I've ever quote tweeted him. I tend I tend to actually not to talk that much shit on Twitter. I I yeah. I tend to do it on stream. I just can't be bothered on Twitter. I'm dyslexic, so I I know I know that I'm not on a level playing field. Um, <laughs> <laughs> All right, there's 261 people in here right now. If you've been blocked by Tipster, one in the chat, all right? One in the it's, chat if you've been blocked by Tipster. It's everyone in this chat. It's everyone. <laughs> chat. It's, it's everybody. <laughs> one in the chat if you've been blocked by Tipster. Chris, are you blocked? I've been blocked forever, man. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. Dude, it's a, it's like the Tipster block club at this point. There's no way he needs to be – he can't be celebrating a block when he's just blocked everybody in the community. Like, yeah, it, no. It, it's not – no, it's not – that you can't do that. It's, it's such a gay thing. Oh, we got some ones. We got some ones. Zyli Gets Real has been blocked. Muldoon has been blocked. Vault's been blocked. Santa Claus has been blocked. Sakura's been blocked. Pez is God blocked. I Bully Bullies, of course, has been blocked. Diesel's Strawberry Blonde blocked. Diesel's Vitality blocked. blocked. Hey, FS Diesel. Diesel blocked. Skelly, of course, Skelly's blocked. Cody, Flying Pussyfoot. Yeah. Devil's Advocate. Uh, uh, let's see. Uh, a, a Hump 101 has been blocked. Nice Lone Wolf has been blocked. Uh. Bo Blax has been blocked. Of course. Uh. <laughs> I wonder why Bo Blax has been blocked. <laughs> Confusing what? opinions. All of my accounts have been blocked. <laughs> yeah, he Bro. told me that. I was like, there's no fucking shot off for him. Dude, dude when, I, uh, when I did the Mama Misogynist account, uh, 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 I, uh, I got blocked by Tipster because I added Tipster and, and pretending to be Xylee. <laughs> I got blocked. Yeah, well, well, Tippy, you don't know my alt. Hellbent no, has Hellbent saying. made Hellbent made her Twitter like two weeks ago, and she is blocked because she's Dude. tweeting out fucking uh, drawings of Nicholas Diorio and now recording. Oh Wait, my gosh! Didn't they also when when Elon took over Twitter? Didn't they remove all those like third party block bots that you can set up for yourself? So that means Tipster's manually going in and blocking all of these people. Yeah, dude, he's finished like, looking it, for bro. them. <laughs> he's looking for them. Yeah. Bro, all right, well, uh, all right. So go back to the. I want to read this thing real quick. Also, apparently, I should be boosted up a bit. I'm too low. Oh yeah. Yeah, no, I've, I've turned you up. I've turned you up. Yeah, no, I'm in chat. Chris, say something okay, for me okay, quickly. Okay. Say, say something for me quickly, Chris. Go. On. Hipster's a fat fucking Mexican that yeah, eats yeah, yeah. Jack in the Box meals a day. 
Yeah, you, you come. You see, you look right on the OBS. Okay, cool. <laughs> uh, right. All right. Uh, wait, it's the other one. Uh, uh, the one before that. Yeah, there you go. That one. Okay, uh, cool. The fourth picture. I want to read this real quick. You got Beavers. Have you seen this? Oh no. <laughs> no. Uh, no. All right. So this is from February twenty second of twenty twenty four when the Bosch stuff was going down. At here, this is from his Discord server. At here. I wanted to take a moment to post some tips on things to look out for that are banned topics moving forward in my chat, as well as the Discord for the foreseeable future. The topics of Lolly, Lolly Khan, Shoda, Shoda Khan, Shoda Khan, or, <laughs> or, 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 or CP, or CP, unless the topic being covered on stream involves these topics. The topic of pedophilia, unless the topic being covered on stream involves that topic. The Vosh folder incident, out of context clips, drama, or the defense of Vosh by myself or Keppels. False allegations of myself, Vosh, or Keppels being a lollycon, uh, shotokan, pedophile, or groomer. Mentions of commentary community creators that are clearly meant to derail the stream, promote <laughs> their content, or appear to be part of hate raid harassment campaign. If you see any mentions of the above topics in the Discord or my live stream chat, please delete their chat and then give the user a warning. Failure to comply can result in further action. Do not disclose publicly that these topics are banned. Simply ask any users discussing these to refrain Le from doing so. Delete their chat and take additional action as needed. Thank you. Literally Nazi Germany. Dude, this that is, is literally Nazi Germany. <laughs> <laughs> if you see your neighbor do any of these things, arrest them, report them. I think it's Jeez. I think it's really interesting as well CCP. that uh, that that do not disclose the reasons. Don't don't tell anyone why we're doing this. Just just you know just you know gently tie them out, <laughs> shut them up. <laughs> Dude, my my thing is like the topics of Lollicon, Shotokan, and CP. Unless the topic being covered on stream involves those topics, tipsters should just not talk about it in general. Well, the, well just avoid those uh, topics. The reason. Yeah. The funny thing is. The reason isn't the sh isn't Shoda the one with boys? Yes. Yeah. Right. So the specific reason that I believe he's added that is okay. I might I might have a big ego, right? I may have a big ego for this, but I think the reason that he put that there is because I went into his, he banned me from his his stream chat for this. He was talking about the lollycon thing, and I kept on saying, "No, no, Tippy, that's not what you said. You said it was Shodacon, <laughs> Tippy." I kept on doing that in his chat until he eventually banned me. How's he gonna ever talk so about Flamenco again? Shoda thing there. How's he gonna well, talk no, about no, Flamenco? Because no, he, he like... can talk about it though. Yeah, he, he can, can talk, talk about, about it. Yeah, but, but if, if someone can't. comes, yeah, but if someone chat comes in, like, it's gonna confuse his mods. His mods are already having issues. It's like yeah, someone comes in, like Flamenco, you look at this shit band. He's gonna. Well, he's his gonna, mods are hey. having. His, his mods are having like issues in the chat. They're also having mental issues as well because they don't know what gender they are. So there's all kinds of things that are going on. <laughs> oh, like, so, like, strong like disavow. This, one. this is this is literally, he's literally like an authoritarian state. Uh, the Vosh folder incident, out of context clips, drama, or the defense of Vosh by myself or Keffels. You did defend Vosh, you and Keffels. That happened. They're literally trying. He's trying to rewrite history so that he never has to see it again, so that he you can guys... just exist in his little bubble. Have you guys watched his Pathetic. video yet on Boogie? Or are you waiting on that? Uh, are you talking about the Twitter video he did? The, the, one, the one that he just uploaded. No, no, no. The, the, the video he just uploaded on Boogie. Towards did he upload, the end. Did yeah, he upload like, on YouTube or Twitter? Yep, yep. Uh, YouTube. Okay. All right. We're going to put... Is it on his channel? Yep. All right. I'm going to give that to Beckett and uh, we'll like... put that at the end of the docket. So there was a part in it that I find absolutely hilarious because you can see that Tipster's trying his hardest not to break these rules because there's a part where Boogie responds to my tweet where I uh, put Nick's tweet in there, this exact one. And he goes, yes, yeah, somebody asked Boogie about his take on another creator's tweet. And it was yeah. me and Nick. And he was pretending <laughs> like he didn't know who the fuck we were. And I was, he called us somebody's. And I was like, what the fuck are you doing? What's happening right now? <laughs> All right. Let's get, let's get through these so I can fucking watch this because it's a 48-minute video. Uh, All right. So All right, hold on. I'm going to go get a beer. All right. This here right here, this is a clip that I guess Tipster, tweet, or Tipster tweeted out. Let's uh, listen to this real quick. I want to 
Hey guys, it's me, Francis. And you know, last time this Gamergate thing happened all those years ago, I feel like I was on the wrong side of history. I was just kind of a, a bit of a fence sitter last time. And so this time, I want to make sure I'm on the right side of history. You know, last time that big meanie Anita Sarkeesian was so mean to me at VidCon, and I didn't like that very much. So this time, I'm going to side with all the racists and the Nazis and stuff like that because they then you sided with them, asshole. Really cool guy, and they seem to be on the right side of this thing this time. And like I said, I want to be on the right side of history uh, this time around. You know, there was that infamous stream clip of me saying that you know at least you know racists and Nazis they stand by what they believe in, and you know I'm gonna stand by them this time because that big bad Anina Sarkeesian was so mean to me at VidCon. How Oh, I have okay, that, that I, went on way too long. I have, <laughs> Dude, I gotta, I have I, never I been so tempted to get banned from a stream for saying a slur in my entire life. <laughs> like I am I am I am literally sat here like do I mute myself? What <laughs> it's like a compulsion, holy fuck. Dude, he can't he can't do this Nazi thing. Alright, by the way, Andy Worski and all those guys, they're not Nazis, but at the same time, that's what they were being called back then. Mm -hmm. And he was up their ass, dude. He was, he was running with Ralph yeah. and Andy, PPP. He was running with those guys. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He was literally on the uh, the pro. What was it the anti gamer side? The pro gamer side? I don't know. He was on the side with the. He was on the right wing side, especially yeah, like post gamer gate. Yeah. yeah. So like fucking like this makes no. He's such a fucking hypocrite. It, it, it's like he's changed his whole fucking mindset to appease a, a bunch of. Uh, uh, oh. I shouldn't say that. A bunch of, uh... That's <laughs> <laughs> right, you can say it. I can say the slur I'm thinking of. Then we can delete, end the stream and delete You're the bot. You're a better man than me, Matthew. You're a better man than me. Uh, yeah. I, a bunch of uh, multi-gendered uh, uh, people. <laughs> you good? You good, nice, buddy? Nice. You, you, you walked that tight rope real close, yeah. man. Yeah. Dude, I got When I was doing my stream, and it pointed out, they pointed it out to me, it's like, Tipster saw everybody making fun of him doing like the AI memes that Nick does. So he decided to make his own version because he thought that would be <laughs> funny to rip off Nick. <laughs> Dude, someone in the chat says, Matt, he's a hypocrite, as in hippo, as in H I P P O. True. Right. <laughs> also, thank you to uh, Mad Max, our favorite Mexican, uh, 199, man child. Uh, by the way, if you want to donate, you can have a super chat. We will read it out loud. Uh, also, we'll probably read more at the end of the stream. Uh, Beckett doesn't have the alerts on because he's just starting doing this. So yeah. also, I hate TTS. I will read them TTS, for you. And if uh, you uh, so donate, never to live, I will check at the end of the stream. And that's the also, only reason I knew the stream was on because I went to check my emails. <laughs> yeah, since we're in an intermission. And Hi, Mitch. Oh. How you doing? Hey. Yeah. Well, I woke up, checked my emails, and saw there was a donation. I went, huh. <laughs> Better check YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> I figured out why Dipster blocked me. Why is that? I remember, I remember that I, uh, you, we know when the whole like Hassan Wait. thing was going on when he said that uh, uh, streaming is a hard job, etc. Yeah. And uh, people were memeing like, oh, the hardest job is Hassan's chair. And I tweeted something like, no, the hardest job is Tipster's chair, obviously. <laughs> Shout out I'm to Santa Claus for the five gifted. Yeah. I'm pretty sure he name searches himself. True, 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 true. He definitely does. Uh, yeah, no, he, it's uh, you should do a you should do a commentary card on him. You should do a tipster commentary card, but you should make him like re really there's bad. A, there's already two tipster cards out there in the world, boys. <laughs> really? Uh, yeah. Uh, oh, shout I'll out to, um, yeah, shout I'll out to Xanta, there's a, there's there is a, a Russian commentary, thing. I'll look into it. There's a commentary, uh, card trading game that Kristinoff is a part of. Uh, yeah. yeah, hold on, uh, shout out to the five gifted members, uh, also shout out to Peepaw Riveter for becoming a Stumpy. Well, shout well, out back. Peepaw, shout out Peepaw. <laughs> what? Welcome, what? Welcome back. How's it, old man? Hope you're doing well. Yeah. Uh, like I said, learn to enjoy the internet again. I hope you come back or do your own thing or whatever you choose to do. You'd go do it. <laughs> I have a fun fact to tell you before I dip out. I just wanted to come in here. Um, yes, he uh, tipster is very much hypocritical. Did you know? Do you know how I found my first Medicare stream? 
How was that? Tipster. Google. Ah, yeah, Tipster sent it Tipsters, to you. Tipsters, huh? no. Tipster, Tipster was the one that told me all about Jim. Yeah. And we watched a stream together in uh on Discord. Yeah, Tipster's a huge that, med was a huge medical. Yes, fan, no, anymore. he 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 would literally tell me, Oh, I love Jim, I love Jim, you know. Uh, yeah. That's how I watched my first Medicare stream was with Tipster. Dude, I'm hoping he saw that clip where Tip <laughs> Medicare fucking laughed at him and gaffled. I hope he heard. <laughs> and, and hearing him now, like, or, or seeing him, not hearing him. I but think seeing him in that tweet now, I'm like, uh, bro, I remember you going on and on about Medicare. Like, what? I mean, it's literally like well, if, think, if someone I like me Medicare went exactly over to the far was. left and started, like, denouncing all these people. It's just, it's just fucking absurd. You don't, it's not even about being right wing, because I'm not trying to sit here and claim that fucking tips was part of the alt right or something. No. But yeah, like, these are the creators that lots of us watched, lots of us would like big on Gamergate, lots of us had strong opinions, and then, yeah, no, fuck it, cool, I'm over this side now, and the rest of you are grifters. I, the projection, I think, I think it's just insulting as well. It actually kind of pisses me off. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Germs in 70 with the five. At least Boogie gets action from the girls he talks to. Can't believe the man with no hope is uh, going to flex on Tipster. Boogie? I think Tipster True. liked Jim back in the day. He did he like loved Jim. Was every... He loved well, him. Well, yeah, but it was because Jim was everything that Tipster aspired to be. Yes. And he had a, a Korean wife. And he's skinny because of the cancer. Oh, my so. God. Okay, I got to go back to cooking. I just wanted to pop in and say that. that is All right, I'll talk to you all later. Peace out. I'm getting, yeah. like, I'm getting Thank like you, DMs. I'm getting DMs tipster's... from like gaming creators, bro. They're all like, what, what do you know about Tipster? I'm being DM'd by people outside of the community. Now they're like, well, we're going over Tipster and Boogie right now. What do I need to know? I'm like, oh no. No. <laughs> all right. What, what, what's tipster's, that? What's... So, tipster's so unlucky, right? That if he got cancer, he wouldn't get the one that makes you like skinny. He'd get the one that like turns you into the elephant man. Yeah. All right. And it'd be yeah. like, it would be like one extra growth on him and he'd be there. It wouldn't take much. Yeah, so uh, this one right here, uh, uh, Tipster quote tweeted, uh, Boogie and says, don't expect sympathy from anyone when the Gamergate crowd turns on you, because they will turn on you. And when they do, no one will feel bad for you. You, you thought Anita Sarkeesian being rude to you at VidCon was bad? It will be a hell of a lot worse with them. You made your bed. I hope you're prepared to sleep in it now. Cheers, my dude! No will hear you. <laughs> <laughs> dude stole hey, talking man. points, man. That's yeah, bullshit. Dude. Who who are the scary people that are... Like, I haven't kept up with the Gamergate 2 stuff, right? Who are the scary people that are covering Gamergate 2? Uh, the Quartering, Matt Walsh, Fratanga uh, Plays, Melanie Mac, Melanie Mac, uh, It's like Gundam. a directed DVD oh, it, sequel. Yeah, it's a gun. All those shitty B-grade actors. Dude, it is a sequel to Gamergate, like, and it's like, it's yeah, the people, this is this is like, the closest. This is the closest. New new sequel, new cast. <laughs> like, but, the, but the truth is that, like, okay, so most of the people who were like, like, there's a chance like Sargon might come back, for example, because he, I think he was tweeting about it. But the truth is that it, it's not the same as it was last time, and the people who are moving through this are quite different. It seems like it's building in different communities, and the thing that made I guess the made Gamergate interesting was it was the beginning point for a lot of content creators. So yeah. it depends whether it depends whether like there's this big build up. It's, I think Sid Alpha will be really big, uh, a big part of this. And Sid Alpha's like pretty chilled out. Like, it, mm -hmm. you know, by the way, but, Tipster and Sid Alpha were pretty good friends at one point. But my thing is, are. my thing, the point that I'm trying to make is he says they he's like, you think it was bad when Anita Sarkeesian was a bit rude to you at what what more do you think they're gonna do? What they're all fucking nerds, bro. They're not gonna rock your shit at fucking VidCon. They're not gonna be waiting there to fucking like jumpy or something. The worst they're gonna do is be like you're gonna be like, hey, and they're gonna huh. That's like yeah, the in, worst. In fact, you can make the you. argument that the other side is the one who like jumps you because didn't Quartering get like punched in the face at like a magic yeah. tournament? <laughs> Did yeah. it, didn't Keppels go and threaten Destiny's ex-wife? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What I'll tell you. <laughs> crazy. Now the difference is, I'll tell you this, right? So if you go to the 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 pro, like the Gamergate dudes, like the Quartering of them, if you show up to their houses unannounced, you're likely to get a bullet in your head, right? That's the difference between the two. 
Yeah. I don't know. The core ring. Let, let's be honest. The core ring can't even be bothered to get out of his basement to take a piss. I don't. I don't know whether he's gonna <laughs> gonna be like yeah, at the door. Grind. Yeah, he's he's on that fucking grind. I yeah. Again, even from the feminist side, you're not really seeing the same. Uh, we're seeing like a couple of videos out of fucking what game consultants, people tweeting on Twitter. It's it's not because no one's building the same big following again. I I just don't see it that way. From like from Boogie, I I don't think this is going to do any harm to him, because mm. you know the people who are surrounding him are the people who are like sort of the granddaddy gamer gators. Those that are left, that's pretty much that's pretty much it. And they they're yeah. I think they'll be reporting for the most part. Yeah. Tipster, on the other right. hand, I, I think... I lost 1,000 subs today. Yeah, because I, I, I imagine Woo! that some of his audience didn't unsub from him or stop following him or really give a shit when he changed too much. But if you've got like a lot of people who sub to him during that period who like pro-gaming and everything else, because he does do gaming content, apparently, from what I've heard, he wants to do more of it. And now he's going to, what, side with Sweet Baby? He's, that's like that's like fucking death sentence if you're a gaming streamer. True. So yeah, like it's not. But I, I don't think tips. I don't know what tipsters go. I don't know what goes through tipsters' brain. I think all tipster is is who who can I defend? I think that's how it works. Who can I who can I hop on? Who can I who can I help out? Uh, and right now it's like I gotta defend my girls with penises. I was gonna. I was about to say girls in quotations. <laughs> <laughs> These words are used loosely around, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, All right. Oh, what, what, uh, what next do we have? What's next? That was it. That's the end. That was it. All right. So I sent you the YouTube video, and we can react to that. Doki. Oh the the do that. video is so rough to get through, bro. It's so. We rough. can. Uh, all right, let's go like 1.75. I'm sure a lot of you guys in my chat are familiar with a content creator known as Boogie298. Uh, do we have some Boogie on the soundboard? I think we do. No, never caught me. We do. We absolutely have Boogie on the soundboard. <laughs> So we're going to be talking about a content creator known oh as Boogie2988 because recently he decided to uh, do something very interesting oh, uh, that I did you not... think You think Tipster would kill himself if his soundboard like fucked out and he couldn't yes. have it? I genuinely <laughs> would himself. He would stop streaming for a week and just cry in his room. I feel like he would. I feel like those... I feel like he sits there in that room all alone and then the soundboard or the voices in his head. Yeah. Whenever he feels lonely, he just presses a button and they're like, yeah, he just yeah sits you down. go, boy! Woo! Uh, Drunken Peasants is in the chat. Better not take a picture of Nini Anita Sarkeesian in public, boy. What's up, peasants? Uh, Teddy with 999. I'm so glad Tipster is out here fighting with vile Nazis like Boogie2988, a true defender of the trans community, and my soldier. <laughs> uh, all right, let's, let's fucking watch this video. See coming now. You guys may know. Not too long ago, I talked about uh, GamerGate Two. This whole thing uh, with uh, what is it, Sweet Baby Inc. or whatever. I kind of gave my thoughts on it. I did get a little bit of pushback. Some people saying that I'm not really well informed on the topic. Uh, so I've done, you know, I've watched some videos from both sides of the chat. Is it argument. too fast? Uh, I don't think know. I was too far off. If I'm being completely honest. Although during the course of this topic, I will kind of address some things that I might have missed uh, in my previous coverage. But either way, uh, you know, I have my thoughts on it, and I pretty much stand by the thoughts that I gave before in my previous video. I think this is a nothing burger. I think it's not all that big of a deal, and uh, I think it's insane to try and revive the ashes of GamerGate over this stupid shit. Yet here we are. Uh, but in any case, uh, Bookie decided to chime in with his thoughts on GamerGate. Too, and apparently he's decided that this time around he's going to join the fray. Oh, shit, oh, shit. Because last time, uh, and I'm just basically... <laughs> oh, shit, oh, shit, oh, shit. I can't, bro. Every time. Oh, no. Okay, wait, wait, wait. All right. All right. Shit is starting to pop up. Okay, if, oh, if Zyli's oh, saying shit. it's too fast, shit. it's probably too fast. We'll go 1.5. Go to 1.5. Go to 1.5. All right, so soundboard, ca soundboard counter. We're at two right now, right? Fuck yeah, I don't know. <laughs> yeah? I think sure. we're at two. We're at two. All right, I'm counting this. I'm counting soundboard. All right, uh, also we had a super chat from Vault. Uh, start the soundboard counter, which is what I'm doing right now. Thank you. All right, let's I'm paraphrasing what he said, but he said something along the lines two. that he was a... You good? You good? Two the... No, he did a boogie one. He did applause and an oh shit. That was three. Okay, so we're at three? All right, cool. Yeah. Three, three, three. <laughs> that was All just right. sick. <laughs> what speed are you at, uh, Beckett? Sorry, uh, we're, we're 1.5. Okay, cool fence sitter last time and you know he tried to you know pander to like leftists and stuff like that the last time around and it didn't do him any good so now he's going to be on the quote right side of history 
That's what he says. If you don't believe me, we'll see it in a little bit. Uh, but in any case, uh, he tweeted this out uh, yesterday at the time of this recording. Hot take, video games are supposed to be fun. You know, I actually agree. Video games are supposed to be fun. And a lot of video games are fun. There's a few stinkers that get released or maybe games that aren't just my cup of tea. But for the most part, video games are fun and they are meant to be fun. So video games are supposed to be fun, not lectures about why being a white man is bad. Now, I have to be honest. Yeah, like Joel chat. getting his fucking um, brain bashed you know, in by a troll. <laughs> <laughs> she Remember, wasn't trans. She was just manly. Okay. What you mean the person? <laughs> wait, uh, what? fucking what? Uh, the the quartering one, you say? Uh, no, the uh, the the Last of Us two. Uh, oh, okay, Man, okay. Did okay. Yeah. Did you just say, Matt, that a woman lacked femininity? Femininity. She had like she had you can't even bro. say the word. <laughs> Mitch, stop. Femininity, femininity. Guys, I'm an intellectual. I'm an intellectual. <laughs> 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 I've had two to three hours of sleep. Fuck you. Hey, I could be having a stroke and dying, and you guys are just sitting there making fun of me. That is like, I'd ask you to turn a camera on. This is like, I lack femininity. And it's just like, Mitch, you okay? It's like Ron Paul when he had the stroke on stream, and he's like, ah, ah. just starts like. Uh, I wish tips. I wish that would happen to tipster. So, what were you saying about femininity? Femininity. femininity. Not minimity. Not minimity. Femininity. <laughs> femininity. <laughs> femininity. <laughs> femininity. <laughs> 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 it's got a bad net. It's got, got a bad <laughs> net. <laughs> like femininity. 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 No, femininity. I can't say it. <laughs> <laughs> femininity. It's spreading. Femininity. 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 Oh femininity. 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 Thank you, Jer Jerem70 with the two. Tip will use soundboard as he hangs from ceiling. <laughs> and then Teddy with the 999. I wonder what Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Wait, no, wait, no, wait, no, seriously. Oh, shit. I can't get down. <laughs> his, his wife, his wife his just walks in, presses the soundboard was... for him, and walks the fuck out. No, dude, <laughs> I was thinking like a home alone situation. She opens the door and it's rigged for it to hit the part when he's hanging from the ceiling. <laughs> I wonder what uh... Tippy thinks of Ricky Burke's transgender tweet. Which he deleted because he's a good boy and not a demonic transphobe like the Nazi Boogie 2988. Yeah, fuck uh, Ricky Burick uh, pussed out. Uh, he had a fucking banger tweet and he deleted yeah. it. Really Young Crip would have been so proud of that fucking... That, that was a Real so Young true. Crip tweet. 100% so a Real Young Crip tweet. And he fucking deletes it, bro. What a, Maybe that's fuck. why he deleted it. He realized he was, he was consumed by the spirit of Young Crip. Yeah. All right, well, let's press play playing a video game that lectured me okay. on how being a white man is bad. Can I get some ones in the chat if you've ever played a video game that lectured you on how being a white man is bad? Because I don't think I've ever played a game that does that. And it's looking like my chat agrees with me on that because You're I'm not seeing white. ones. I'm seeing a lot of two. <laughs> uh, just, just so it's clear. Uh, yeah. What punk yeah. does he have in the race? Well, You're a Mexican, bro. <laughs> spoken. There you go. Uh... Spoken. Fuck that shit. I don't. I have never even played it. I don't even know if that's true. But fortunately, no one else played Forspoken either, so no one can correct me. <laughs> uh, Wasn't there like shit. weird like stuff with Spider Man and like uh, all these other games coming out that are very uh, well uh, yeah yeah. So okay, I'll, I'll speak as as a gamer. Yeah, like there's been a lot more sort of uh, badly written uh, minority characters um, and a lot more sort of like changes to female protagonists who are like well established. Like, Samus is an example of this. Uh, fucking Laura Croft's an example of this. Um, and y you've just got loads of little things. Now, like, gaming has had, like, a history of female characters being fairly strong, to be fair. Like, Lara yeah. Croft, like, you've got stuff that's happened in, like, the Zelda series with Princess. Like, even Peach has had a moment of being, like, a strong fucking character. Go on, Beavis. Yes. Yeah? Just, yeah? <laughs> no, I was, I was just gonna say, I was just gonna say you... You nailed it on the head there, right? It's just I, I don't think the the problem is not that you know if you if they want to make a movie, I mean not a movie, a video game, right? That has a very strong trance uh, lead in the video game, and they write the whole video game around them and their experience and blah blah blah. You know, I won't play it, but I'm sure it deserves to exist, and it would probably be a very good video game. But what you don't need them to do is to go, all right. 
we're going to make Spider-Man's sister a tranny. <laughs> Why? Because it's going to it's going to look good. Diversity bucks. We need we need BlackRock. What's that? What's the fucking we need the fucking what's it called? BlackRock or whatever it is. It is. We need them to invest. We need them to invest. <laughs> they have a diversity policy. <laughs> That's a <laughs> I think what people forget as well is like one of the most beloved games, like most people who've been gamers their whole lives, like you're like, what's your list of great games? And like somewhere in there, like people who've been around a lot will be like Beyond Good and Evil, female protagonist. Uh, like actually, yeah. like I really liked Deathloop. I really like Deathloop. Main character's black. Ooh, Deathloop the, 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 the like female yeah, villain is, is daughter, black. Like it's yeah. fine. They're just characters. Like, and that's it. Like, just make something well fucking written. My favorite game of all time, you play as a fucking undead ghoul. Like, I, I don't know what to fucking tell these people. Um, yeah, no, it's just, it's just frustrating. Bring back, bring back Amy Hennig. What's the, uh, what's the, uh, what's the Skyrim guys called? The, the Vikings? What are Norse. they called? No, uh, Nords. 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 There we go. Yeah, I don't, I don't appreciate the, the heavy racism between the Imperials and the Nords in Skyrim, if I'm being honest. I think that's, uh, I think it's too much, and they need to take out all the racism from Skyrim. Sorry, I only know Skyrim jokes because that's like the only game I played in the last twelve years. Uh, <laughs> I, I wanted to be a part of the community and talk talk about games, but <laughs> I don't know what the fuck you guys are talking about. I'm like Death Loop. What? Well, I mean, you can even look at it like it's not just games, right? Like this in particular is about games, but they. I don't know what they what the the executives think when they make these poorly written characters that people are just going to eat them up like slop. But then I then again I look at a guy like what's that fucking music artist? Um, Lil Nas X is that the guy? Uh, is the, the, who, the gay one? Yeah, the gay one. The gay yeah, one, not right. The gay one. Like yeah. every time I'll he take loses, my horse the whole time, bro. Yeah, that one. Yeah, every time that guy loses relevancy, he just does something that like pushes yeah. the envelope in terms yeah. of leftism, right? And maybe people do eat it up, so maybe that's why they do it. But it doesn't translate into gaming that way. I feel you like uh, I mean? when I'm playing like Blazing two separate 8, mediums. When I'm playing Blazing Eights, I feel like uh, Zyli can be very racist towards me. Uh, all all racist towards each other. Playing. Well, like, yeah, but but, but Zyli's really racist in Blazing Eights. Matt, we've literally accused each other of like horrible shit playing. Yeah, but Zyli's the worst though. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, she calls Zyli Zyli called... all the time. I think yeah, she called us honkies. Me. Yeah, she like she tried to honkies. assault me and like all kinds of crazy shit. Well, she tried. She, did she like tickle assault you? Like uh, yeah, 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 George, yeah, yeah, yeah. or like actually assault you like a rapist? Uh, both. Huh. Oh. She's Puerto Rican. She used a knife. Clearly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd rather be assaulted for real. With what? Yeah, then listen to Zyli bitch at you. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Then have Zyli like zoned out for like five minutes, and we entered a completely different conversation. <laughs> I thought, I thought, like I thought Mitch was saying, I'd rather be sexually assaulted by Zyli or something. I thought that's no, what he said. Oh, I, I let her I mean, assault me. You know, I didn't say anything sexual, Matt. I just meant regular assault. Okay, do you want me to repeat it clearly for you? You deaf, deaf fuck. I yeah, said, you're right. You're right. Zyli's not a dude. I, get by Zyli. I shit. I shit. I shit. <laughs> dude, someone needs to draw tips are hanging from a fan, going oh shit, oh shit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> are you are you all right, buddy? Animated, so that when it spins, holy shit! No, so that when it spins, as he comes closer, it's oh shit, oh and shit. Then at, and then at the bottom, <laughs> you have all the all the trans goth mommies prepared to catch him. Like just Wait, is, the, yeah. is the ceiling fan on? Like it accidentally got yeah, 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 yeah. All right, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah oh, the ceiling shit, fan's oh, on. The ceiling fan's on, but the ceiling fan is struggling to turn because it just can't. <laughs> <laughs> it just sort of just swings like... backwards and forwards. <laughs> Holy shit! My God! All right, let's keep watching this fucking video. I love that we've all got masked off about tips. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I always call like that. Bad. That but, was like, that I'm not was seeing... never on. Anyone. So I, you know, something tells me that Boogie might have pulled that out of his ass. But in any case, he says, watch this on my channel if you want more a more nuanced take on this tweet. Gamergate 2 is official. Uh, Sweet Baby Inc. versus Elon Musk. So let's go ahead. I have the video pulled up here. This is the video in question. And we're going to watch it. We're going to kind of give our thoughts as we go along. So without further ado, play that shit. Here we go, chat. All right, that's four. Grab your Mountain Dew. Okay, looks like I need to boost the audio just a bit. So let me go ahead and do that real quick. Here we go. That should be better. Wait, why, wait, hold on, pause. Why is he playing a sound... that part out? Yeah, I was about to why, say why, that. Why is he playing a soundboard from Leafy? Isn't Leafy like a right wing video game commentary channel? I don't know. I think that's. A, I don't think you should be playing those kind of soundboards, Boogie. Boogie. Uh, Teddy with the nine ninety nine. What? 
Someone, uh, or tips. Oh, did I? I got it mixed up again, huh? You, you confuse the fats. You have no. fat blindness. Fuck. Damn it. Petty with a 999. Someone needs to draw tips for watching looks a medical so stream with tears yeah, in his honestly. eyes as he comforts his trans sisters. True. All right, let's I've said playing. it before. Fatness and Down syndrome are the two equalizers in society. Okay, cool. <laughs> they cool. always look the same. Exactly. I think, I think transgender as well at this point. Oh. <laughs> Oh, All right, man. buddy. We're, we're allowed to make fun of Down syndrome. We're not allowed to make fun of that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, do you, do you, do you want me to press play, or are you guys good just cancelling yourselves? I've got, we've got uh, tie. We can do this <laughs> any way you fucking want. I just, <laughs> just want to thank the trans community. Say I'm really appreciative that you came along, and now I can say retard on the air. Which is like, I really appreciate your penises and your boobs. That's a. It's a <laughs> Okay, the second part is true. <laughs> <laughs> the second part is true. <laughs> uh, press play. Right, let's go. officially begun. And who's leading the clap back this time? Is it uh, just some random neckbeard on the internet like me? No, it's Elon freaking Musk. And you might be asking, who is Elon squaring off against? Is it some Anita Sarkeesian type? No. It's Homeland Security. I'm going to break this video down into two parts to get people caught up to speed as to exactly what's happening and why it's happening. And secondly, as an old head who lived through the first Gamergate and in fact made quite a few mistakes during the first Gamergate, I, uh, I, I want to talk about my opinion on what's probably going to happen here. I remember for me, the first Gamergate when that happened or whatever, like I remember hearing a lot of uh, content creators talking about it and like, you know, gaming journalism outlets talking about it and stuff, but I didn't really understand what it was at the time. It wasn't something until like later on that I kind of like looked into it and found out what it was. And I was like, oh man, this is like pretty shitty. You know, on the surface, it sounds like, you know, something that would be good ethics and games journalism that's the way they framed it We're you lying motherfucker <laughs> you actual lying motherfucker are you are you fucking kidding me with this shit back in it gets way worse I, he invokes the name of ralph later okay okay i'm actually look i know what's to watch here i i think i might fucking commission that fucking drawing holy fuck <laughs> what an absolute I know a cunt uh, I just, I fucking we can hate. Literally, that. get we can get the same artist who drew him as the mafia guy. Oh, okay. get the don't, same drag, exact don't, artist. don't drag her into this. We can get uh, the same exact artist to do it. I fucking hate people like this. Listen, I've had to listen to the tips stuff from the fucking side, but like, I really fucking like. At least own what your fucking positions were, you disingenuous asshole. Like, this is this is record. You people can look this up. Why would you lie about this? The fuck is wrong with you? retard right okay we're just trying to have ethics and games journalism and then when you actually see what it became like this whole like harassment campaign against like women and gaming and stuff like that it was a fucking like mess uh so yeah i'm kind of i'm kind of glad i had no involvement in that the first time around because it just sounds like a fucking mess we should be doing now all of this he would have been on the other side never heard of known as sweet baby incorporated which in their own words is a narrative development and consultation studio based in montreal and working around the globe their mission is to tell better more empathetic stories while diversifying and enriching the video games industry they aim to make more games more engaging more fun more meaningful and more inclusive for everyone spoiler alert they basically <laughs> failed to do so. Now, right this here. is what's like crazy to me, right? Okay, so first of all, like if you're not familiar with Sweet Baby Inc., obviously he read their description of themselves off their website, but they're a consulting firm, okay? Like that's kind of what they are. Uh, companies can hire them to kind of evaluate their current progress on a project and they can kind of like give advice like any other consulting firm will do. They'll evaluate things, they'll give advice on how they think you that they should can bring in more black narrative people. perspective. Yeah, imagine that. Like, imagine hiring a consulting, a consulting team. Employer, or maybe you're an employer in. yourself and you've worked with back a consulting in. firm. Like back this is Go ahead, imagine hi what well, imagine hiring a fucking consulting team to literally just come in and say hey you need to black and gay it up a bit <laughs> like, do you do, do the do the executives on your fucking do the executives on your team not have the like i don't think you should do that to begin with but do the executives on your team not have the two fucking brain cells to be like you know, maybe we should put a pride flag on this one. Why do you have to pay this company to tell you that? Well, Beavers, didn't you see they uh they Why were not? Hold Why on. not? Right? Why not if you want to include trans people in your fucking video game, right? Why not instead of hiring this consultant firm, you hire a trans person and put them on your permanent thing as like a diversity consultant, like that's in your company. Mm -hmm. That would be actually putting your money where your mouth is, right? Like actually diversifying. No, what we're just going to get this consulting company to come in. And they I overloaded it, YouTube, and no. they, they actually created like a whole thing. It was like a panel, right? And they were like, we are a company that will go in and scare the marketing team that you will have like a horrible thing happen to your company if you don't add gay people to it, you know? Like that's their whole model. So it'd be smart if they did hire a trans person, but they don't do that. Th this company is carved out like a whole section of the industry just to be like, you need to put in gay and black people into this or so you're going to fail, you know? It's the gay and black mafia.
Yes, gay black mafia. Dude, they, they come in, they're like, we need to yassify this up, girl, all right? We need some more trans. <laughs> we need some gay people. We need some pansexuals. We need we need blacks. We need Mexicans. We need fucking Chinese. We need black Asians, uh, Puerto Ricans, and no <laughs> white people. No white people. No white people. <laughs> no, no white people. Dangerous. <laughs> Like in like in Goodfellas when they're like, go get your fucking shine box, and like now go get your glitter box. Yeah. Well, then they're like, well, we got this uh, one white person, uh, and they're, and they're like, can we give them a vagina and a penis and a pair of tits? <laughs> Will that work? Uh, that could work. I think that the could artist, work. No, but the artist is sitting there looking at you, going like, they never knew throughout the entire game. No, no, no. They still uh, need a penis and a vagina. Yeah. yeah. All right. They need they both, like, like right literally. next to each other. Like, like right yeah. next to each other. Not above, right next to each other. Like, they're staring no, what at about you. One see their bowl. The yeah, 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 yeah. That can happen that too. Just right? be a large clitoris. Yeah. Shut up, you fucking transphobe. <laughs> <laughs> can we take their arm away? Is it possible we could take the white person's arm away? Maybe the leg and too. And replace it with penis. How about if it's just a floating head and it's a Nazi? <laughs> How about that? Yeah, let's bring this white person in, but can we make them a Nazi and make them the bad guy? And it's like, they're the main character of the story. And, uh, I don't know about that. I think we should make them a Nazi. I don't remember. Did was it, wasn't it noticed from Marvel? <laughs> <laughs> wasn't it in Starfield that they didn't want to make their, one of the villains too evil? I, I can't remember what game it was. It was like, it was somewhere where the villain was like meant to be transphobic. And the developers, I, th I think this was part of the story, would like didn't want to make them transphobic because like they thought that would be too bad. They thought they'd get called out for it. I, I vaguely remember hearing this. It's like you can't even make your villains transphobic. You can't even like uh, fucking this happened in the boys as well. Like Stormfront was like a Nazi, and they got pushback. Like the actress was like, "Well, why are you playing a Nazi?" And the actress was like, "Because it's a villain character." <laughs> it's like, oh, I can tell you. <laughs> Like, I'm like, what? I play a piece of shit. <laughs> like, <Yeah. laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. Right. We good? We good. They do. Yeah, you, you know, yeah. they'll consult whatever you're hiring them to look at. They'll give you advice. And it's up to you whether you take the advice or not. And this is like an optional thing. Okay. Like you choose to hire these firms to help you with these various different things. And in this case, it's a consulting firm to help with, you know, narratives of video games and stuff like that. Uh, and like a lot of times they're uh, helping with like diversity and inclusion in games, things of that nature. Obviously, the anti woke crowd, not big fans of this stuff. Me personally, I don't give a shit. As long as the game's fun to play, I don't really care if they, you know, do this kind of stuff during the creation of the game. As long as it's fun, like, I don't give a fuck. Uh, but in any case, uh, here's some of the games that they've worked on. Alan Wake, God of War, Ragnarok. Uh, you know, there's some pretty noteworthy games here. Very successful games as well. Um, so when I see a lot of people talking about how, like, Marvel with Sweet Game like, is involved in your three. game. Like, I was about to say, there's, like, yeah, three like, games. Literally, <laughs> hold on. Three games, three of those games were going to sell millions regardless if that company was involved yep. or not. <laughs> Just from name brand alone. <laughs> <laughs> like... Well, so, like, He's bullshitting. God of War Ragnarok, like, reviewed well, but actually, like, narratively had a load of fucking issues with it. People, like, it, we kind of saw this in the Spider-Man 2 game as well. There's, like, an... I, I, I haven't played it. I'm going off what people have told me. Um, but, like, there's an entire mission where you play as a blind girl spray painting. Deaf girl. It's a deaf... Deaf girl. Deaf girl spray painting. Blind girl would be hard out. Okay, fuck yeah. fuck up their disability? <laughs> You're a monster. You're a fucking monster. You I know. I know. I, I, I don't know. I, I'm sorry, Chris. You can call me out on Twitter. Um, that's fine. I, I, I give you my permission. But like, yeah, it, it's obvious what you can see what the inclusions are to an extent, and I think that's part of the problem as well. Like, when a consulting firm comes in, you expect someone to go, "Hey, there's issues with your narrative here. This doesn't really make sense." I, I've seen this in kind of a few writing things where they'll come in and go this character doesn't read like somebody who does this job for example this is a whole nother level yeah. it's like you don't have the representation you need the representation where's your fucking representation and well like fucking tipsters sat here like oh yeah well it's optional it, yeah sure it is but we've heard from the founder of sweet baby inc that she's like what you need to do is you need to go to the marketing team and you need to terrify them those are her words exactly. like what the fuck are you talking about it's like, well, no, there's been several successful games that they've worked on, and it doesn't really hurt anything, so I don't get it, right? Like, it just seems kind of dumb, but anyway. Here on their website, you'll see a list of games that they have worked on. And this is important later, so take a big note. You'll see that some of these games have been 
too big to fail. Uh, God of War, Ragnarok. You know, that sounds like a Coke to me. Okay. If you're trying to sell me on this idea that this company, anything they touch turns to shit. Okay. If that's what you want to sell me on, oh, that they're bad for the games industry because everything they touch turns to shit. Uh, you can't tell me a Coke like, oh, you know, these games, they were too big to fail. You know, yeah, they were involved in this and they did some. They were too these big games, to fail. They were too big. Uh, they were. They were they too were. big to fail. Yeah. You, the, the fucking Spider-Man 2, right? Nobody knew shit about Spider-Man. Do you know how many PS5s they sold for Spider-Man 2? People literally bought the console to play it. They it literally was the just same map the as the last game. It. Yeah, they didn't care. It was Spider-Man 2. It was going to sell regardless. It doesn't matter. I think they could have made Spider-Man... They could have made a Spider-Man a fucking tranny that shoots out fucking rainbow-colored webs. And people would have still played Spider-Man. Because they like Spider-Man. That's it. I think as well the reason true, that Suicide remember, Squad Hogwarts got highlighted. Legacy, they made that. Yeah, yeah. Hogwarts Legacy did fucking go, crazy right? well. Hogwarts Legacy was the opposite side of the spectrum, right? People were bitching and moaning at it because of J.K. Rowling, right? And they were saying, oh, she's a fucking turf, blah, 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 right? But didn't matter. The wokeness didn't matter. The woke people were still going to buy fucking Hogwarts Legacy because it was a fucking Harry Potter game. It does not matter. It's too big to fail. So saying that it's cope is just ridiculous. Well, I mean, it's clearly had some effect because the, one of the major complaints with the Suicide Squad game, which is where all this fucking began, was it's from an established studio that did the Arkham series, which everyone loves. They're like, those Batman games are some of the best ones. And uh, it was a pile of shit. And the narrative is terrible. You know, they literally kill the Justice League. It's fucking bizarre. And so that's, that's sort of where all this began. So this kind of cope of... Oh, well, these games were too big to fail. That doesn't prove anything. Well, it does, because even these games that are too big to fail are getting called out for their narratives. So so clearly there's an issue there. Otherwise, this wouldn't have happened. To yeah. fail. Like, come on. All right? You're already arguing against your own point here, okay? To the original God of War. Alan Wake 2 sequel to the original Alan Wake. Spider-Man 2, too big to fail. And some other games on here are some real stinkers, like uh, Suicide Squad, where they worked on the script writing, the banter, the cutscenes. That's what's other... funny. It's like, so he's saying like Alan Wake 2, God of War, Ragnarok, Spider-Man 2. He's saying these games were too big to fail. But then he's talking about how like Suicide Squad was a stinker, which I actually, I hear it is a pretty bad game. I didn't play it myself. It wasn't something I was interested in. But you don't in. know. But pretty much everybody so I know up. who's played it. Like, yeah, it's a pretty bad game. Uh, but here's the thing. Why are these big name titles, Alan Wake 2, God of War, Ragnarok, Spider-Man 2, why were these ones, quote, too big to fail, but another big title that was also very, very big, it was a big production, and a big production house behind it, there was a lot of hype behind the game, and it ended up being a shitty game, why wasn't Suicide Squad too big to fail? Because again, it's Cope, and I know what my chat wants, and I'm gonna give it to him. You are coping, coping and these right. games are too big to fail, God. but Suicide Squad wasn't too big to fail? No, Bye. this is a legitimate, like, bad game. A lot of people would agree that it's a bad game, but, like, to make the argument that, like, any game that these people touch just turns to shit, he knows it's clearly that... not true, because we have several examples. But I, I mean, the comparison you know, still he... doesn't stick. Because... Hey, Zadma had said pause. Ah. Fucking ass. Awesome. Okay, go. Now you go. Oh, I was just, what? I was going to say, <laughs> but still, the comparison, the comparison doesn't even, it still doesn't make sense, right? Because Alan Wake, God of War, and Spider-Man are far bigger franchises than fucking... Uh, Suicide Squad. I mean, yeah. Alan Alan Wake. Alan Wake is like a, a nostalgia game that a lot of people played. A long, how long ago did the first one come out? Ages ago. No. Oh, like it's like a decade. Right, so people, isn't it? 2017. Yeah. So people people were like, oh my god, I can't wait for that game. God of War, very strong history. Like PS5 literally exclusive. was almost. It was almost a console seller, right? Even back in the day, to yeah. have God of War. Spider-Man is also a console seller. It is massive. Batman. Yeah. Like, yes. it's good. It's good. Don't get me wrong. People like their narrative games and whatever for the Batman games, but it's not the same as those other three. The, the closest I'll well, say no, is Alan Batman, Wake is probably Suicide weaker. Squad, which, so you're not playing as Batman, right? Well, so it's, well, it's you, the... It's in the Arkham universe for the game. It's in no, Arkham yeah, he's universe. talking about the Arkham yeah. games. He's not talking about yeah. Suicide Squad. He's talking about the Arkham no, Asylum ta- games. Yeah, I'm talking about like that side, that studio that made it. Like that's where the hype would have come from from Suicide Squad because nobody which was looking which it, which it forward did, to the adaption they, of a movie. Which they did, <laughs> but the problem is every time they would release something, people were like, what the fuck is this? This is not even close to what we're used to. What the fuck is this? And it kept getting worse and worse. That's why the game failed because they kept releasing shit that nobody liked. Tipster in his fucking brain doesn't realize that part. <laughs> also, wasn't wasn't Suicide Squad just a Destiny clone? Uh, like with the, in, a, with the... in a sense, yeah. 
It looks closer. Yeah, to, it's not, it's not, almost closer to something game. like Anthem. But yeah. No, it was just in the Arkham universe. So yeah. like the Batman Arkham was in the game. So that's why people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, about yeah, 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 yeah. But wouldn't it be better to make like an Arkham version of the game where you play yeah. as the Suicide Squad instead of making or, like a Destiny club? Yeah, but they wanted or a live play. service. I mean, like to to be fair to it, they'd like people knew that it was a live service and people knew that it would be like a lot of people don't want to buy live live service games anymore. They just they just don't don't want them. They're shit. Yeah, it's dying. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. but the yeah. but interestingly, the thing that's been highlighted is not the live service and nature of the game. It's the fucking narrative, you know, which is which is a yeah. surprise. Like Anthem was like this actually. Interestingly, uh, like Anthem's narrative and storyline was fucking abysmal. It was bad. But you know, I don't know. AAA's had this issue for ages. It's just that. Well, it's interesting to find out that it's not just Sweet Baby. There are multiple fucking conserv uh, like there are multiple of these consultation firms, and lots of yeah. them have links back to fucking Gamergate. So that's where all the fucking <laughs> people who were on the left of it um, went. They would they all started fucking consultancies and uh, like did this shit. So we know now. That's why. Yeah, they all got purple hair and penises. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I can't what did you... argue with him. He's, he's entirely right. <laughs> I mean, Chris, you, you saw the clip of one of the... Um, oh, fucking, I've forgotten what she is. But she's, like, running a consultancy, and she won't hire white people. And her reason oh, yeah, is that, like, yeah, there's microaggressions. She, the, yeah, she's the one that went from creating some stupid fucking dating sim to working at Sweet Baby Inc. Now she's working on, I think, the Black Panther Marvel game. Oh, After that... saying she wouldn't hire white people on her development team. Jeez. Uh, someone said the issue was that they made this game as a spiritual successor to the Arkham Knight series, killing off the Batman yep. that people played as in Arkham Asylum, uh, Knight and City. Yep. Entirely right. Yeah, and it was also the voice actor's very last role. Mm -hmm. Oh shit, yeah, I'd forgotten that. Before he fucking died. Yeah, and he's... And Batman's getting brutally killed. <laughs> well, he was the voice actor for the animated series, wasn't he? Yeah, no, he, him and Mark Hamill were... much anything that wasn't live action. He was doing the voice for. Like, and hasn't that, hasn't like, Suicide Squad it. Suicide Squad in general had a bad taste in people's mouth due to like the movie from 2016? There's also you know, that too. Yeah, but yeah. the animated yeah, films. Shit. Yeah, but the, okay, so the movie from 2016 or whatever the fuck it was was shit. The last one was actually pretty good, and the and it, like if you're a fan of like DC's products, the animated Suicide Squad movies are some of the best like comic book films they're really really fucking good so like there yeah, is the, a following for suicide Squad. that's true yeah but i think it's like to catch that that other side of the audience that doesn't really watch the superhero movies that much all they know is like suicide squad bad in 2016 i don't know if i want to play this game like that that's i'm, an, I'm just going from a normie's perspective. my my thing is from a normie perspective because i didn't read a lot of comics when i was growing up i watched movies right from a normie perspective, anytime I see them making a vi uh, movie into a video game, I go, "Yeah, no, yeah, no, I'm not mm. gonna, not gonna play that." The more I do that I'm as a gamer, me. I'm just like, I'm not. Yeah, I'm always very, very suspect because they yeah. usually shit. You know. Right. Let's keep watching. Here, this. they're just fine. I fucking hate everyone. Anyway, thanks. You know, the things that made Suicide Squad utterly fail. Oh, Meanwhile, over there on Steam, that. you'll see these curation pages. Yeah, gotcha. Where people can curate lists of games based on all kinds of different things. We're at Whether six or not now. they recommend them or don't recommend Damn. them, the type of game they are, the type of DRM <laughs> they use. And, and this user decided to create a list of games based on games that Sweet Baby Incorporated had worked on. That way, you know, if you've had a good experience with this company in the past, you could play that game based on that recommendation. And if you've had a bad experience in the past, you can choose to avoid that game. And this is That's bullshit, okay? Like... The notion that someone would, oh, you know, I played a Sweet Baby Ink game and it was good. And so this list was created for people who might want to play other Sweet Baby Ink games. Uh, come on, Boogie. We know what the reason was that this created curated list was created. It was purely created because like, hey, you know, Sweet Baby Ink, uh, they do woke games and uh, we don't want woke games. So uh, here's a list of all the games that they make so you don't play them. Like nobody's using this list to be like, yo, uh, I had a positive. The issue but there is. The case, how the, fuck, how the fuck don't you know that a trans person didn't make the list to say, hey guys, there's trannies in these games? Okay, can you uh, stop saying fuck, that, please? <laughs> no, but how does, how does he know it? the intention? How does he know the fucking intention of the okay, person okay, okay. that made the list? So, so we know the. Okay, first. The person that made we, the list could be the most woke person on the planet that's okay, just like, okay, hey but, guys, if you want to have minorities in your games, this is the company to do it with. So I, th I think I think pick. I think Boogie probably doesn't like know, but 
Tipster probably does. We know who made this list. We we know the person. We've seen their statements. Um, the Nazis. We, we're aware. We, yeah, we're aware. We're aware oh, part, he because they've. He's not a Nazi. No. He's just a fucking gamer. Uh, but the thing is, I mean, joking aside, what's the fucking issue? If you want to go, yeah. hey, like like EA. EA is a great example of this. I don't buy EA games. They're, they're shit. They're shit. They're overpriced, and they usually. Fu- yeah, I tend not to buy like. They Beth- are truly yeah. shit. You know, I'm really sus of anything Beth- Bethesda's touching these days. I'm sus of things that Blizzard are touching. Like, if you've got a list where you're like, oh, this development or production company is involved in it, maybe you should be aware of that. And he, um, I think Boogie mentioned DRM lists. Often you'll have lists of games that contain DRM, and people don't fucking I'm want it. I think of like. Uh, a, a way to compare this so like if someone made a list like on imdb the... or rotten tomatoes and was like hey here's a list of all the shitty movies i can't, oh, can't stand some way. of them are pretty well yeah. would that be a fucking issue no, like but, no but not even not even that <clears> right because it's not even it's not even to that level right this would be the equivalent of somebody let's say you have a brand of food like craft food right the company craft okay they make a list that has all the craft uh products on it the person who goes and looks at the list could be a person that fucking hates craft products and says, I ca- oh, fuck my life, I would like to avoid this. Or it could be a person that loves craft products and goes, oh, I love their mac and cheese. I wonder what else they make. Right? Davis, can, the you list... say, can you say craft for me? Craft. No, you didn't say it like that before. You said craft. Craft. It's craft. 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 Get it right. Craft. 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 Macaroni craft. and cheese. No, but I'm just saying, like that's that's the thing with the list. The list inherently isn't a bad thing. Not a, no, look, no, the intention it's behind it, the description. Yeah, like let's say you you probably could use this as a as a list to support Sweet Baby. To be honest, it's not the intention of it, but that's irrelevant. And also, they yeah. are fact checking. Yeah. Originally, originally Starfield was on this list, and it got removed because like the the information for Starfield being a game that Sweet Baby worked on couldn't be verified, so the list creator removed her. It's not like he's not just, right. he's, just, he's not just putting random fucking woke games on here. He's trying to do some sort of due diligence. Yeah. Uh, Tipster put out a statement, by the way. He said, everybody loves the goth mommies, but what about the goth daddies? Goth daddies need love too, you know? So, uh, yeah, that, that's Tipster's statement on the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, no more slurs for me, boys. Hit my limit for the day. <laughs> I've been told by the higher ups. Guns up. <laughs> Fucking Christ. My bad. All right, press play. Experience with a sweet baby ink game, so I want to use this list to play other games of theirs. Come on. Here to inform the consumer. Well, eventually, this theme group caught the attention of Chris Kindred, who works for Sweet Baby Incorporated. And the Chris- other collective in the chat says, uh, it's the right wing blacklist. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. That was That's the what the intent of this list is. And I think it's like... I mean, okay. at the end of the day, if they, somebody wants to create a list because they're like, oh man, my woke video games, you should not, play. whatever, make your little list. It's whatever. But like, even so, like, it, it's, I think we can agree that it's kind of cringe though. Like, why do you care so much whether like a company worked on a game or if you don't want to play the game, then don't play the game. But I just, it just seems like lame to make such a big deal about like, how it's is this fucking list and heels versus baby face getting worked up over like pronouns hold in a game? On, you know, this is just the next level extension of that. Anyway. Pause. Just What's up, Chris? It gets, it gets worse. Okay. The, so the well, thing is, he sits there and he goes, "Well, it's so cringe that uh that they made a list, and it's crazy that you care so much about wokeness in games." Proceeds to look right at that tweet where one of the head people at Sweet Baby Inc. said, "Flag this dude at his Steam account because they made a list for oh Sweet my Baby God, yeah. Games." So Tips are just being a fucking retard. Yeah, He's not the, reading. The cringe is the reaction, not the fucking list. Like what the. What the fuck is Tipster on, dude? Is Tipster on like opioids or something? Like, what the fuck is he doing? <laughs> just, just so we're clear, just so we're clear, what like these people tried to do? They tried to take down a creator's right, uh, like uh, just uh, just a person's right to have their video games, the things that they've paid for and bought. They wanted Steam to ban his account just for making a creation list. No, That's... no, no hate speech. Nothing. Just you put these la- games on the list, you so you don't deserve to have a Steam account anymore. And then these are the people who are shouting that they're getting harassed. So tips are tips are actually is fine with removing people's access to products and platforms. He he's cool with that now. I'm I'm glad that we've moved to that point. So on Steam, you can go to like say you go to the store page of a game. There's a link that you can click on the developer and then it cre it shows you a list of all the games that developer has made why isn't that a problem but this is but hold on but on top of that 
but hold on. But then Sweet Baby <laughs> Inc. lists all the games that they've worked on on their website, which Boogie showed earlier. They just use yeah. the information from there to make the list. Why is there a problem now? Yeah, let's uh, let's yeah. just get rid of lists entirely then. If that's yeah, the fuck list. So I don't triggering. I don't know if that's even fucking Can we true. A list about two like, um, because because Chris, you've seen you've seen Sweet Baby's webpage, right? Yeah, but the majority of their games were listed there originally, right? Yeah, but also, like, they list the creators they've worked with, and that is an extensive list of creators, far more Very than their games extensive. list. You know, it's, it's mm. like, including Valve. So it's kind of interesting that they only list those games. So whether those are only released products or whether they are actually giving advice to games companies as well on the side. Because they're like while they while they talk about nar narrative stuff, Sweet Baby's mission is to increase diversity within the gaming uh like gaming industry so that's that's actually another question that probably needs some answering yeah where where yeah. how many games has this touched over the past like five years however long sweet baby ink's been in production yeah and how many companies i just have used them as like yeah. hey is our are our staff being treated the right way are they doing workshops for them because that's gonna trickle down into everything we need an army of neckbeards right now we have Ooh, we have them. Research done. We we have an army of neckbeards. They're currently on diversity training by Sweet Baby Inc. That's the fucking problem. <laughs> also, also, I'm gonna start a debate here. Does Tipster just have one big fat chin and then his like his big <laughs> fat neck, right? And then it's kind of like pushed up into his chin, or does he have multiple chins underneath that? I think I he is trying like, to grow like a second a mouth. It's it's a second mouth so he can eat more. Yeah, See, it looks that's like what I was thinking. It looks like, like he's wearing a. Guys... It looks like he's wearing a mask. You know what I mean? Like it looks like he can yeah. just take off his face. It's like a pocket. Do you guys for have more pelicans? Food. Do you guys pelicans? have pelicans? Yes. 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 Yeah. Pelicans. yeah. Yeah. It's like it's like a pelican where like the pelican <laughs> puts the fish in its mouth where it will hold the food for a while before it swallows it. That's Remember when Tipster was going? Around. <clears throat> Remember when Tipster's yeah. going around like, yeah, I'm I'm not as fat as Nick. He's like a. Uh, he's like a. He's At least like Nick a has fucking, a chin. Yeah. yeah, he's like a ruminant, like a cow or something. Right. Stop, he chews crackers. up the food and then it kicks it back into that fold underneath his neck and just sits there for a while and then it goes into the next stomach and just keeps rolling. <laughs> He's sorry, had to adapt to, to get oh, the sorry. calories to survive. Go ahead, help us. I just had to emphasize that um, Tips is like, oh, why, why is it such a big deal? Sweet Baby are the ones that made a big deal out of it. They, the Barbara Streisand, on their way into this because nobody would have even known about this list if they hadn't reacted this way. Yeah, no, no one would have. Hey, no one would have cared. Mitch, yeah. what? Say femininity. Femininity. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm a white man. Is it is it CNN? No, 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 no. It's femininity, and also, can we change Hellbent's name to Dicky Knee? That's a reference that only the Australians will get. She just pops in here like Dicky Knee all the time, like. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah, like, so all the other Mitch, Australians are gonna Mitch, get it. Yes. No, okay, yeah. I'm glad Liana. Yeah, Liana gets the joke, Mitch. You happy? One yeah. fucking person probably got yeah. the joke. Li Liana and Eva. Good oh, job. there's more than one Australian watching. Actually, yeah. I just remembered that's actually an an Australian reference from like the 80s and 90s. So like, pretty much no wow. one gets that because <laughs> good job. <laughs> only the old people do. Listen, we send you to that island for a reason, right, Beckett? Yeah, yeah, sure, Mitch. sure. You know, the old right. If the earth was flat, if the earth was flat, Mitch, I hope you would sell off the the flat earth. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking what? <laughs> I'd have, I'd if the earth was the flat, I just, I just, I would hope you would just, you know, sail right off the uh, flat earth <laughs> into we're the like, abyss. Uh, we're like the fucking Vikings, and he's like the slow Viking, and we're just like, yeah, buddy, you go do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. There you go. Keep going that way. Just keep going that way. Heave. Oh, <laughs> heave. Oh, heave. Ah. Uh, Mad Max with the two dollars fifty chins. All right, let's keep watching. Gonna educate you. Just tweeted out saying that there was a harassment group uh, dedicated to harassing Sweet Baby Incorporated, and that it obviously doesn't adhere to Steam's policies and code of conduct. And she encouraged people to report report the hell out of the group in the hopes that it would get taken down. And while you're at now, it, I will say this, okay? I actually do have some criticism oh, here to give go. the folks over at here Sweet we go. Baby. This right here, basically like signal boosting, like a tweet, like "Hey, go and flag this shit" or whatever. This was really dumb, okay? Like. If you're dealing with legitimate harassment, like, you know, doxings and swatting threats and, you know, like actual forms of harassment, like, just report that shit and don't say anything about it. Just quietly to yourself. If you are facing legitimate forms of harassment, report it and then just move on. But like anytime that you do these like mass report, like, hey, you know what? 
can you guys all report like this page for me? You know, this massive following that I have. Can you go and report these people because they're like harassing me or whatever? Like, you're just asking for trouble at that. Asking for not not so, the fact so that you did wait, it at wait, all, wait, the so fact they all yeah. caused issues for you. You again, fucking fat cunt. Jesus Christ. Sweeping. Oh fuck. Yeah, Literally, okay. it's We've like seen... it's not the pro. It's not the fucking problem that the this person is like causing a hate campaign to go to a, go fuck this guy of it. You know, if this person's annoying you, you really shouldn't do this because all that it's going to do is cause more trouble for you. It's fucking <laughs> ridiculous, bro. How did you guys like, put up with this fucker for so long? What's wrong with you? Because he wasn't like this. I was, he was, yes, he I was. was. I was forced to. He fucking was. You see, you were no, just in fucking would, denial. Would, no, Tipster in 2021 would be, be would be like, uh, Baby Ink is stupid for fucking doing this. That's what his video would be. Yeah, that's because his friends would. That's, no, what, no, that's, no, that's no, what his no, friends no, were fucking his, saying, though, isn't it? Trans girls no, on no, 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 no. On his on his own stream, he would be like. He wouldn't really give an opinion. He'd be like, "Oh, that's a that's a yikes for me, guys. I don't know if I would have done that." And then Augie would go live, issue. and he'd be, "Yeah, Augie, Augie would go live, and he'd be like, fuck baby ink, pieces of shit.'" And then the next day, tips, "Yeah, fuck this company, fuck baby ink, <laughs> yeah, yeah, fuck these people, bro." Hope they all fucking. Gene, what yeah. happened? I'm not... <laughs> Go ahead. during the first round of Gamergate and people doing posts like this. And uh, even if you feel justified or not in doing it, it's just, you're, you're just, we know how these people operate. When they see these mass flagging campaigns, they're going to attack people who do that. So just, just don't do that. Just if somebody's legitimately harassing you, just, just silently report it and move on. Okay. That, that's all I have to say about that. This was kind of dumb. Why don't you report this guy, the guy who created this consumer advocacy list, uh, report his account that he spent all his time and all this money on to see if you can get that taken away from him as well. And again, because he was con informing consumers. Now, you remember earlier when we were taking a look at the Sweet Baby website, uh, I pointed out that they list the games that they have worked on right on their website. So if they're doing that themselves, are they harassing themselves? How could it possibly be harassment to copy-paste this list of games that they've posted themselves over on Steam? That It's nonsensical, and it's definitely not worth somebody losing their Steam account over. Now, obviously, gamers didn't like that, uh, but you know who else didn't? Twitter. Uh, Twitter fed Chris a six-day ban for targeted harassment, the thing that Chris was actually doing. If he's quiet on that point. He was accusing others of doing it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Meanwhile, we have... Yeah, I mean, fucking mouth shut. Oh, like there's, there's a very important part that he gets super silent on, and you guys are going to lose your shit when you see it. <laughs> I, I, I can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> using a large platform to do something like that like yeah that can be interpreted as a form of targeted harassment so again my criticism to sweet baby ink that wasn't smart they, they, uh, they pause real quick that. do of the mountain with the five says tips just grows an extra pocket in the neck to store some snacks for later but that's yeah. i i strongly disavow like those type of animals that do that's that like are the... adorable and don't deserve to be compared to tips so. no what what does what, what, no, tipster actually has a he has a list in his gullet of all the food he likes or all the food he hates so he can be reminded not to eat it. It's, like, it's actually not a very long list, though. <laughs> it's quite small. It's he pulls it out every time just to make sure. I think the most apt description of what Tipster's head looks like is, you know those thumbs from uh, the Spy Kids movies? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about. Oh, fuck. Hold on, I might go find a picture in a sec. Give me a sec. Robots, who I presume you remember from the first Gamergate, if you even will. from a you know public facing perspective, like a PR sort of thing, it's just not a good look and it's just going to result in people feeling like they have more justification to harass you. Just don't do it, don't do this, don't do these massive call outs for mass flagging campaigns of this nature. Just, just don't do it around for it. Pointing out that Steam doesn't you know force people to prove that a game has been worked on by Sweet Baby Incorporated, and that might be why it should get taken down. This got community noted by the fact that number one, Lego Butts works for Sweet Baby Incorporated and probably shouldn't be trusted on this particular topic, and that secondly, the curator literally uses that games list that they have on their website that I showed you early to, you know, prove that these are the games they've worked on. And allow me to introduce... God bless community here. notes. Why are these guys <laughs> afraid of people listing the games they've worked on to begin with? If you've done good work and you're proud of the work you've done, someone listing all the games you've worked on should be doing you a favor, right? Unless, of course, you know the work you're putting in is bad and it's ruined some of the... I mean... <sighs> Like, to some extent, like, you have people who will see lists like this, and they'll use them as an excuse to target game developers who have worked with Sweet Baby Inks, target, you know, Sweet Baby Ink directly. Uh, they'll do things like, you know, review bomb any games that they've worked on and stuff like that. And these are things that can be genuinely harmful to the developers and stuff like that. So I can understand why they would be upset about this curated list that, as somebody in the chat mentioned earlier, it's basically a blacklist by right-wing gamers and stuff like that. So I can understand why they would be upset about this list. I still don't think they should have done the whole call-out for, like, a mass report thing or whatever. Uh, that definitely shouldn't have happened. Uh, but uh, I understand why they would be frustrated about the existence of this list. Games that could have been better 
then you probably don't want people curating that list. I think they know what they're doing. Now, due to this rise in effect, all of this caused that curated list to bloom over 100K, now 250K people on that list supporting this cause. And as people dug around, they found this. The co oh, he's going to... Okay, I think I know what Chris is going to... Uh, just... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, you know, <laughs> yeah, yeah, way. yeah. yeah. <laughs> Baby Incorporated basically saying that they bully people into putting this type of stuff in their games. Here, I'll let her speak for herself. Um, if you're a creative working in AAA, which I did for many, many years, um, put this stuff up to your higher ups. And if they don't see the value in what you're asking for when you ask for consultants, when you ask for research, go have a coffee with your marketing team and just terrify them with the possibility of what's going to happen if they don't give you what you want. I don't think it's ever a good look to say that your company is based. Yeah. Bruh, what? <laughs> Just wait, just let it go, I promise. Just I mean, let like, it go. I don't know what the context is of that clip. Uh, I don't know if anybody has found like the full clip because that clip's been making the rounds and yeah, admittedly in its current context, it does look pretty bad for sure. Um, but uh, I, if anybody has like the- <laughs> Oh shit. Yeah, yeah it's, it's really, it's, I, you know, he it's even did bad, a, but like- He it. even did an, un did, he did like an uncomfortable shift in his chair when he said yep. that. Like, I have to address this. Oh my God. Okay. Uh, what, are they, uh, what are they doing to terrify <laughs> these people? Like, I'm going to accuse you of rape if you don't fucking put this in the game? Like, no, what, the, what the, the, so, so, so from what I've heard, and also what I know from like previous things, um, especially with smaller devs, um, you're sort of reliant on the game media for your uh, publicity. And yeah. like things like Rock, Paper, Shotgun, Kotaku, uh, like general gaming outlets, even IGN. Um, it's like, well, you know, if you don't have that diversity, where's your coverage going to come from? Where's, where's, where's that support going to come from? Maybe when your game gets reviewed, like regardless of the gameplay, they're going to call you a bigot. And they're going to like, we've just seen this happen actually with Helldivers. Helldivers, there's a host of articles of Helldivers is a fascist game. Helldivers hates the LGBT. Hel Helldivers is, yeah, it's like, oh, they won't even put an LGBT cape in the game these people hate the gays it's just like <laughs> <laughs> but but hell divers is one of these games as is hogwarts legacy interestingly enough that proves that consumers don't actually fucking care they don't care and i i think i saw a clip of chud on twitter where he's like well why aren't why aren't all these fucking outlets talking about the fact that in saudi arabia in the middle east in china none of this shit is in these games in fact companies actively yeah. take them out yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, where's all your articles against you China left us? Um, <laughs> fucking like cunts. fucking uh, Overwatch. Overwatch is one of those. Yeah, right. Where like their characters, their backstories are also like diverse, right? They've got gays and non-binaries, and there's even an autistic one in there. None of that's canon in China, baby. No. None of, course, of it. Of course, it's of course it's fucking not because they they know that they wouldn't sell anything there. Like yeah. every time, if you they're like, if... they're like, uh, so we got this uh scene where these two black people kiss. This two, these two black dudes could kiss. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna have to cut that one out for China. Uh, sorry. They literally do that. <laughs> they literally do that. Go and go and go and check they do that any and of then. No go. Yeah, I was gonna say go and check Twitter whenever it's like uh Pride. Go and check, uh, like the companies, uh, like tweeting out to like regions that don't like it. They won't have rainbow stuff on their profile. They won't be celebrating. Oh. They won't do anything. They'll be very fucking quiet about it. No one, no one cares because it's not, it's not part of the narrative. I fucking hate this shit. <laughs> oh fuck, am I getting reinvited? Oh fuck, what have you done to me, Matt? Oh uh, fuck Welcome. it. Full clip of that. I, I'd be more than happy to take a look at it. Um, I don't, I don't know what the context is, so I can't really comment too much on that on wielding cancel culture to get big companies to pay you but if at least you're providing valuable service i guess that might be at least conceivable but if you wonder what kind of service sweet baby incorporated is, is trying to provide well look at these tweets from felix who we spoke about earlier pay me to shoot down your white male lead game ideas i had a nightmare that i was a white male gamer yeah it's uh, it's pretty abundantly clear that they're not uh, they're not there to add diversity to games they're there to push white people <laughs> had a nightmare i was a She's white male gamer i had a good credit score and a happy family <laughs> life <laughs> And then I woke up in my apartment, and I still had the heroin needle in my arm. <laughs> Wait, it, it says that tweet says, "Pay me to shoot down your white male." Le what the fuck? Yeah, yeah. Yes, just wait, bro. He looks at that, reads chat. You're gonna see it. He doesn't acknowledge shit. It's great. It's fucking great. Whole corporation stuff. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's pretty normal for like you know various different corporations to hire like consultancy firms and stuff like that to evaluate various different things. Uh, that's why I don't think this like sweet baby thing is like as big of an issue. I do think it was a bad Pause. idea for them to try and master. Yeah.
It's not that big of an issue. Yeah. One of the lead developers and one of the people in Sweet Baby Inc. is tweeting out, pay me to shoot down your white male-led game ideas. I usually get grossed out when straight, white, rich people kiss, but even I think those two are pretty cute. Like, bro, no shit. <laughs> like, <laughs> don't you think it's a big deal? <laughs> Jeez. Chris, will you... you see why? <laughs> yeah, no, this is... You're on the wrong side of history, tipster. Well, I mean, it's so obviously bad. I was going to ask, Chris, do you, do you, do you remember Game of Game 1? Were you around for it? Uh, I wasn't around for it, but I've looked into it enough to understand its like basic components. Do you know? Do you know Zoe Quinn's game, like Depression Quest? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Okay. that was a so, good game. I love when it got released, and the entire like there was a whole host of people on the left who were like, "You're misrepresenting depression." Like they they fucking turned on her. Because she was like, oh, I'm a woman, I can rate this game. But actually, Depression Quest is just bad, and I think that's part of the problem. Like, a lot of this is fucking shielding for just bad game devs who just yeah. <laughs> shouldn't be making fucking games. Uh, Vault69 with the $2. Guys, Geico in Saudi Arabia is very pro-LGBTQ. Yeah, I bet, Vault. You know what we need to do, though? We need to get Keffles to go against Sweet Baby Inc. and watch Tipster just flip-flop, jump sides right away. Was in Keffles starts criticizing Sweet Baby Inc., Watch Tipster jump sides. Well, it's interesting that, like, uh, Wu isn't very supportive of this. Uh, like, yeah. she thinks it's fucking ridiculous. And I actually haven't seen many of the old guard come out in, in defense of it, because I think, I think they know how this goes. It's why they all went underground and started fucking consultancies. And then Anita decided to get married and... to herself. <laughs> <laughs> like... <laughs> steam curated list uh but as far as like what the company's actually doing like i don't give a shit it doesn't i don't care out then you got the old media stepping in uh this is game developer a uh, writer by the name of brian francis who says steam and discord are being used as a home base for hateful reactionaries to single out and harass game developers why are valve and discord permitting harassment against sweet baby incorporated and again the harassment brian is so upset about is that someone copy and pasted from the sweet baby incorporated website the list of games they've worked on so that you can you're talking about the woman talking at the marketing thing yeah but i'm just saying like I've tried to find, like, the full clip. I haven't had any luck finding the full clip, unfortunately. Uh, so I don't know what the full context is of that. It's very obvious that it was clip chimped in some way. Um, but I would like to see the full clip to have, like, a better idea of, like, what uh, was actually being said there. If I had to guess, it was probably something along the lines of, like, hey, say you're working for a developer studio and they do something along the lines of, like, really Sorry, badly guys, represent uh, a minor. Called into work. What? 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 I got a dip. Adios, Mitchie. Bye. Bye, Mitch. Peace group in games for example and you're like trying to like express your concerns to your higher ups like hey this is actually pretty bad and this can get our company a lot of pushback if we don't fix this uh why don't we fix this and if they don't take your concerns seriously then let you know basically go to the next level up and say hey you know my supervisor's not taking my concerns seriously on this we might want to hire a consultancy firm to take a look at this and actually fix the basically the issues that they have here uh i would guess so that force that was... them that's, yeah that's... so force them to fix it so force them to fix what you don't <laughs> like yeah, you're it wasn't... explaining why everyone's mad tipster God this, damn it. It, it's also like this is a disingenuous argument because it's not go to the higher ups it's not go to your boss it is hey if your bosses don't take this seriously go to the fucking marketing department go, go to another department so they can go and have the meeting so they yeah, can raise like, concerns convert people yeah, to your if side you can't, if you can't be the change that you want to be in your company go hire a big company that will bully your company into seeing it your way. Yeah. That's essentially what he's saying. <laughs> Probably something along the lines of what was being said, but obviously I haven't seen the full clip, so that's just speculation on my point. Make an informed decision whether or not you want to support the games that they've worked on. I mean, I guess in Brian's article, he does point out that at one point there was a forum on that curation group where a lot of people, a handful of bad actors, said some crazy shit, but the curator just got rid of those forums, so there's nothing that could possibly be harassment. On I mean, place. that's good if he got rid of the forums, but at the same time, that's a clear example of how people were using that, you know, curated list as a tool for harassment. Like, they were using it off as, using it as a jumping off point Pause. to harass game developers. He's lying. I mean, you use it, they could have used the fucking sure. website. Tipster has made this art. Tipster has made the uh, opposite argument to this before, where it's like your 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 product doesn't whatever it does, it shouldn't uh, be a representation of bad actors infiltrating to harass people. He's made arguments like this before, and he's doing the complete opposite now. Mm -hmm. Um, hi. 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 Uh. Lots of the times, I just want to say lots of the times when you complain to the higher ups, people that are complaining, if, you, if you're like an employee complaining to a supervisor about a procedure or process within the company, the, 
the supervisor is not going to take like that employer or that employee seriously sometimes because let's say it's like an engineering issue that needs to get fixed and then the employee doesn't even know that it's an engineering issue so just complaining to the higher ups and being like oh well if you don't get what you want you can further escalate like no that's a good way to get fired from your job yeah. And I don't think Tipster realizes the kind of advice that he's getting or giving with that. Right. So, it, that, so okay. So to be right. Oh, fuck, look. sorry. To be to, to be really specific about what that clip shows, and also what we know about this one, because there's articles on her. She's she's done press releases, um, and interviews. But what she's saying is, when she was in the industry, she's a game dev. And she was saying, hey, this part of the narrative, she was on narrative teams, she was doing this kind of development, doesn't work for these reasons. And the rest of the writing teams or whatever team she was working with was saying, well, we are doing this. So she's not talking about an engineering issue. She's saying, if your concerns aren't taken seriously in the room, you need to like find another way to make those concerns heard. So I agree oh, okay. with you that it's like a, a bad thing. But this is, this is the problem. The way Tips is presenting it is disingenuous, even with the clip we have. That's not what she fucking yeah. says. And again, she did leave. That's why they all went to form consultancies because they weren't getting anywhere in the industries. Um, and generally when companies bring in consultants, this is like, you know, I've done consultancy work. You, you are brought in to fix a problem and often you're seen as an, a specific expert which gives you a standing of authority as, even as an outsider. That's the whole point of being a consultant. I guess it's just different, like in, in the industry that I work in, because I work in the semiconductor industry. So it's just like to see a company try and go to a consulting, a, a consulting firm to try and figure out their resolution is it's alien to me because we don't normally do that with, within the company that I work for. So yeah. Okay. Um, I do acknowledge that. So thank you, Beckett, for helping me with that. Yeah, it's a, it's, it's a bit of a weird one. And I think it also comes down to how much you know about like how the gaming industry works. Because again, like gaming industry companies are not places where you'll come in, you'll work for 30 years and you'll leave. Generally speaking nowadays, like you work on a game, you, you're then on like off season and either like you'll stay as part of a skeleton crew to stay for updates or you get laid mm -hmm. off. And like because of things like crunch and everything else, it's not high welfare. People aren't around for long amounts of time. And, uh, you know, unless you're an exec or like part of a particular department, you, you probably not got a lot of a long lifespan. It's, it, it's the whole yeah. reason we have credits on games. That was something that had to be fucking fought for. So, yeah, it, it, again, it's a really specific industry and it's probably more comparable to things like media TV than, you know, a, a normal tech company. Yeah. All right. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Leah. Sorry, guys. Yeah, you're good. Uh, Germ70 with the two. Tipsters Discord is a source of harassment. And then Devil's Advocate with the two. Translation, be a Karen. Thank you, guys. Let's keep watching. Of games. But here's where things get entirely off the rails. Uh, this group named Take This, which, after getting looked into, found out they were being funded by Homeland Security here in the United States, posted an article called Responding to Gamergate 2, saying Gamergate 2 is the latest targeting harassment something. campaign within the games industry, and it's aimed at Sweet Baby Incorporated, and that all scholars and journalists and game developers must do everything they can to shut down Gamergate 2 and denounce the gamers who don't want to buy games that have been worked on by this company. So there's your smoking gun. The Department of Homeland Security funding an organization that just fired the warning shot The Gamergate 2 is coming, and we need to make sure that every gamer knows they have to buy the game worked on by Sweet Baby Incorporated, or else they're the bad guys. Am I taking crazy pills? You can't even blame the gamers this time. Nobody's it's even saying, like, if you, if you don't want to play a game made by Sweet Baby Inc., like, it's kind of cringe, but, like, whatever, just don't play the fucking game. Nobody gives a shit if you choose to buy a game or not, right? Pause, 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 Wait, pause, pause, it's pause, kind of cringe not to want to play a game? What the fuck? No, dude, he totally... Did you not notice when Boogie's like, there is a company that is being paid by Homeland Security to list this as Gamergate 2? Isn't that crazy? And <laughs> Tipster's like, oh, well, you know, like, you could just not buy the game it's kind of cringe like bro there's a company <laughs> working with homeland security like how is it that crazy <laughs> but not uh, even that it's like it's like the the fucking ridiculousness of how they how they pick and choose when it's okay to not buy something to boycott something or not it's just ridiculous right so it's like he's saying oh it's kind of cringe if you don't want to play a game by sweet baby ink because maybe you're more conservative like minded or whatever but then i'm like Okay, Tipster, what about Hogwarts? Hogwarts what Legacy. About... Oh, fuck that game. Fuck that game. That fucking turf bitch. Fucking, what? like what? 
Well, what about like, uh, what about Starbucks I had a moral... for Israel Palestine? <laughs> yeah, well, or like if I had a moral um, issue with fucking playing Minecraft because the Notch guy is a fucking Nazi, right? Like, yeah, I'm allowed to not buy his game, and that's not cringe. Like, if I'm against Nazism that much, that's not cringe that I'm not buying his game because of it. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It's just stupid. It's going to be Reading. seen from the different sides of the spectrum. It's just, and it's stupid that he's been doing this for that long, and he can't see that. He can see that. Well, he can he's see just that. Fucking he's just lying. being disingenuous. He's yeah. just yeah. fucking he's being... lying. Dude, his whole thing has been disingenuous this whole like past year and a half that he's been doing this whole uh, lefty grift. Um, Wait, like, he all, used to be the guy who's like, I don't really get into politics, guys. I just like to, you know, meme around and talk about the news. Now he's like full on like, oh, uh, yeah, I've taken the other side again in Gamergate too. I'm pro trans. So. You know, deal with it. Uh, ba- Sweet Baby Inc. did nothing wrong. You know, th- this is him now. The issue here is that people are making a big deal about, you know, games going woke or whatever. It's like, oh man, this game features a, a black main protagonist, or this this game features gay characters, that's, or this game features trans right. characters. It's like, does that really ruin the game for you? We saw a perfect example of this last year with the infamous Depends if they're shoving game. it down your throat. Yeah, or yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all that matters. Wait, that if they're shoving... Yep, that was another uh, one. Seven... But it no, just depends ahead, if they're shoving. It just depends if they're shoving it down your throat or not. Yeah. But, and like, you know what the thing is? It's not even. It's not even that most people are politically inclined, right? Most people just kind of exist and go about their regular day. I don't want to get home and fucking play a video game, and then the gaming community has gotten to the point where I have to play a video game where they're talking about how trans people kill themselves uh, in a large amount. I don't want that in my video game. I didn't sign up for that in my Batman game. I don't want yeah. that. <laughs> I don't want that. And this is the step that leads to that. Yeah, no, exactly. Um, exactly, yeah. I forgot what I was going to say. So ass mad about a game just having a pronoun selection option, okay? It's, it's fucking cringe. In no way, shape, or form do these things make a game bad. Now, I will say that sometimes you will have games that will try to pander to a specific section of the audience, and they'll force this shit in in a way that, yeah, it does negatively impact the game. But I would go as far as to say so 90% that negates of all what you're saying. some kind of... <laughs> it literally negates what you're saying. Well That's done, Tim, so you can end the video there. Want... Shut the fuck up. Yeah, Go nobody on. wants to be force-fed woke. That's all it is. That's all there is. Look, if you want to get an issue with fucking uh like grifters being like oh this game's woke this game's woke and it's not really woke yeah sure fine but at the same time like nobody wants to be force fed like a fucking trans uh main character when they're playing a fucking game about hunting it's it's also yeah. it's, it's also it's, down to just how bad some of the shit is like i've said this before there are there are series that are really woke the harley quinn series is a great example of this the animated one it's really quite woke it's also quite good like lower decks is woke it's good. But then you look at like other things like Star Trek Discovery. Very woke. It's shit. It's not just that it's pushing a message. It's that it's it, what, fucking awful. It's just wasn't bad. that uh, the new Scooby-Doo series where they made Velma Black? Oh my like, fucking god, yeah. And the dog wasn't there? The dog yeah. just wasn't They didn't there. even have They're Scooby-Doo like, in it. This made yeah, no, no sense. No, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Woke can be good. It's about the writing. They're yeah. hiring shit writers who I happen would... to be woke. I would love to, like, if I was in the mood for it, right? Which I don't think I ever would be. But if there, if there's a really touching story about two gay men that have a, a loving relationship, you know, and it's a story about their lives and it's a good story, I wouldn't mind watching it. There is. It's right? it's you and Matt. Right? Like, you guys? I say you it's and me and Mitch. And Mitch. <laughs> I was going to say it's me and Mitch. All right. Mitch is my one true. But... But no, like nobody has a problem with that. It's just when it's forced down your throat. Because like the point that I was making was, so it's like with the, the, okay, I think people that get upset by them, including the gender thingies at the beginning of the game are a little bit silly, right? A little bit silly. Don't really affect mm-hmm. you. But the problem with it is, is it then, the problem with woke culture and the reason that people like push back on it so hard is what eventually happens is like what happened with that fucking AI generator image, right? Where you'd ask mm-hmm. it, to like give people and it's just black people it yeah. just refuses to give white guys it's just black dudes that's that's <laughs> what people don't want and that's yeah. that's what they want it's a because the thing is the woke is a force for change right yeah. if you left if you left the woke unlike rebutted unchallenged right 
it would just be rainbows and fucking ponies all over the place if they yeah. had their way. Because literally, that's because that's what they're fighting for. They are aggressive with it, right? So there has to be pushback, and if there isn't pushback, things just go to shit. And things then you have, hard. yeah, if there is, if there isn't pushback, then you have uh, game developers going on streams and being like, yeah, I just, I don't like hiring white people because I don't feel like they can understand me. You know, stuff like that. It, it's fucking stupid. All right, it's stupid. Work with who you're assigned to work for, and fucking do your job, and fucking make a good a game. You can't fucking uh, expect everything, everything to be like, oh, rainbows and fucking uh, ponies and. Uh, fucking this this person needs to be included and that person needs to be included, but this white dude that's a Nazi. That's a Nazi, you know. Like it just it, it's just so gay. And I think um I think the huge difference between like a woke a talented woke writer and someone who is untalented and woke and that's a writer is that the woke writer will concede when something is funny or interesting or entertaining, even if it goes beyond the bounds of their politics. While an uh, untalented woke writer will never concede to that. And will always stay stand their ground and never and never like try to see the other side. And I think that's what you see that a lot with people like Sarah Silverman and stuff like that, who are like, you know, they're the ones being like, why are you guys hating the Jewish people so much? What's going on? Like, why are why are the lefties hate? Like, what what's happening? Like, what, like can't we just make jokes? Can we have fun? And it, it just it it keeps going like that. It, you see it a lot happen with like famous lefty writers that are actually talented. Um, also, Leia something with the nine ninety nine. Shout out to Hellbent, the best artist. She did my profile picture, and it looks amazing to the Hellbent fun. There you go. Of You know, woke element within them. They're fine. They're, they're perfectly fine, and it doesn't hurt the game at all. I told my security! Holy shit! Now, of course, we saw the old guard from the first Gamergate dust off their pitchforks. We saw Mark Kern. You know, the guy who worked at Blizzard there. Can I tell you another one that's fucking stupid? What? Right? Just, just a, like a, a personal experience that I recently had. I was playing Dead by Daylight. I hate that game, but a friend asked me to play, so I played it with them. Right? I was playing Dead by Daylight, and I realized while I was playing the game, I was like, what the fuck? Do you know that if you play as the killer, you can choose to have LGBT, like the LGBTQ flag on the fucking killing hooks where you hang the people up? What the fuck? Wait, what? really? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> You're getting penetrated yeah. by the LGBTQ. I'm gonna be. I'm well, gonna be. I'm gonna level the, with the, you. Like, that's actually. That's actually kind of based. <laughs> that's that's actually kind of based. Fucking... Gay, gay but, people but can like, be murderers too. Is a base add, message, bro. Like, what does it fucking add? I fucking. I'm running along, and I was just running along, and I see the post, and I'm like, "What the fuck? This is supposed to be a horror game. Why is there an LGBTQ <laughs> flag on this pole? Well, that's, What's going on? Really here? scary." It's very colorful. What, what's going on? This doesn't fit the bill. Jesus, Side note, did bro. you guys know Leatherface is trans? No. Okay. No, no I did not. He's very inclusive. Oh. Like <laughs> that huge killer they added. <laughs> no, no, that's not good on that route. You're, you're at your slur limit, buddy. <laughs> so he went on to explain that basically the way the games are getting made is they're extremely expensive. Huge companies have to come up with the money, and one of the best ways to come up with the money is your CEFO can get you tax breaks based on working with companies that do this forced diversity stuff to make sure you can fund your game. And oh, by the way, you remember I mentioned... I mean, a lot of companies get a lot of tax breaks for a lot of different things. Uh, some companies, depending on like where the company is based, you might get a tax break based off of the fact that like if you do like a formal like a uh, sexual harassment training at your workplace, uh, if you get your, uh, you know, th th there's various different things that companies can do to get like these tax breaks. Like this is not some like nefarious thing or whatever. It's just it's a pretty common thing in business uh, here in the United States. Elon Musk. Well, this is where Elon Musk signal boosted this by retweeting it simply by saying, wow. And this got it in front of 5.4. I don't million. know why so many people put so much stock in anything like Elon Musk has to say, especially after that insane interview where he looked like he was just like hyped up on some kind of like he was intoxicated in some way the whole time. Oh, like, do you guys remember that? He's a billionaire. What have you yeah. done with your life? <laughs> okay, first, I billionaire. Was, was... Second, multiple companies is a CEO of, runs a rocket company, runs a Tesla, like, like, runs a fucking electric EV company. Like, shut the fuck up, dude. Well, it's, it's also like, on why top should... Of that, he owns one of the biggest, like, fucking platforms for speech on the planet. Well, it's also yeah, like, you, why does anyone care about what Elon slightly serious. But, yeah, it's, it's... but Beavers, why, why should we care what Elon has to say? Like, come on, tipster... You know, come on, man. Why should we care what Elon has to say? Well, I, I, I just, I hate the lack of self-awareness. Like, isn't this the sort of thing you say before you just quit? When you're just like, nobody gives a fuck what Tipster says. Other than, like, oh, the, yeah, people, the people, the, the, the deepest, pe I... the people who are watching the most of Tipster to try and, like, work out what the fuck he's thinking, 
are the people who hate him. The people yep. in his chat don't fucking care. This is just noise to them. Yes, say the words. Say the words. Because they, because if they cared, they'd go and look into his past. They'd go and look into that fucking stream with Michael Alberto, where he like kissed, like was like flattered by him for ages. Like that's yeah. what they do. They don't. They don't give a fuck. So yeah, Tipster is meaningless like noise, and the most interesting thing about him is the fucking soundboard. Did it, didn't he say when he had the interview with Alberto when he got confronted on it? He was like, "Yeah, I was confronting it all right." Yeah, he did. He said, yeah, he, he, said he, he, buddy, he said he debated he him. Buddy, buddy. Also, uh, the what's his name? The uh, one of our channels, Ti Tilr, right? Yeah, he's right on that. Tipster did say that Elon was going to fix Twitter. Do you remember when Elon was taking over Twitter? Yeah, mm -hmm. Elon, a uh, fucking Tipster had Elon's dick in his mouth constantly. True, dude. If you can give me a, if someone can send me a tweet from back then, bruh, I'll put it up on the screen. Well, hell bent. Elon isn't self-made, but owning Twitter and owning all the companies he has is still very impressive. Right? I want to be clear. I'm not kissing the... Elon's ass. I, I don't fucking care. But like, I, I agree with. Look, I agree you with can... you with why people care about him. Like, I agree He's with not, that. Not to say, don't opinions. take, don't take his opinion. Like, don't just be like, oh, Elon said it, so it must be true. Right, but when the guy that owns fucking Twitter tweets something out, you should at least look at it. Yeah, is what I'm saying. He's also like autistic and tweets about like random like dramas and stuff like that, and it's kind of captivating that he gets caught up in this stuff. That's why that's why people like it. So like when you have Elon tweeting about GamerGate two, you get excited because it's about to become bigger than uh, how it was uh, how it originally was perceived to be as big as. Yeah, because back then Sargon just wanted a uh, fucking Trump, Trump to tweet out Gamergate. Yeah. Hey know? guys, like, I've got a plan. Are you ready for this? <laughs> 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 fucking idiot. Where, where are you, stepfather? Come out the fucking woodwork, buddy. I tweeted. <laughs> I, I fucking added him. <laughs> he never responded. Bastard. Coward. Interview where he wasn't speaking coherently, like in any way, shape, or form. Why do people put so much stock in a guy who's clearly fucking insane? I don't get it million eyes so we're off to the races officially with this tweet then you got people like matt walsh China he's Madison, insane because he doesn't matt agree walsh, with you this is one take of the breakdown of he's Lewis. citing matt walsh boogie wait you're fucking citing rewind matt walsh rewind a bit pay attention to what boogie said go back like pay 20. attention before he has his little rant who's clearly fucking insane i don't get it million eyes so we're off to the races officially with this tweet then you got people like matt walsh chiming okay. in and say what you will about matt walsh but this is one take of the breakdown say what of you will exciting... about matt walsh say, say what, what you, you will. will about matt walsh so boogie is prefacing i don't really like this guy <laughs> but he's got a good point here and tips is like oh how dare you <laughs> look, at, look at look at that fucking stank face <laughs> that he's pulling <laughs> it's the tips what adult face. man sees something and makes that face bro <laughs> I like to think that every now and again Tip just smells himself. It see, he just oh, catches a whiff he, and he's just he's like, mm, have you ever seen those, "That's not good." Have you ever seen those videos where dudes like scratch their asses and they sniff them on public transport? Yeah, yeah. right. Tips is definitely that guy, and then he gives it a lick. Well, you got you got to do the smell test to make sure your folds are well de uh, deodorized. You know, nasty. <laughs> nasty dude. <laughs> you gotta be like, yeah, uh, you smell, smell his finger, you smell his hand, and he's like, bro, that smells like shit. He's like, bro, I just like wiped between my fat fold. What the fuck? Yeah, he's like, no, the fucking skin flap between <laughs> my elbow and my arm smells like fucking poop. Oh, that's not good. Yeah. The, f <laughs> Listen, let's see. the face he makes when he sees vegetables. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. Boogie, he likes those. You're fucking citing Matt Walsh in your Gamergate 2 video? Am I in fucking clown world right now? Like, what the fuck is going on? Woke wokeness, end quote. No, your life in is gaming. clown world. Uh, but this also got signal boosted by Elon Musk. This time for 17.8 million viewers. So there's now way more people involved. And Elon Musk says video games need to get rid of the woke BS. Getting lectured with tedious propaganda is not why people play games. Now for my opinions. I was around for the last Gamergate. And if you guys remember, I was a bit of a notorious fence-sitter during that period of time. I hated people being harassed online. I hated seeing people arguing online about this stuff. 
And I did feel like there was improvement the way that we as content creators and writers and gaming companies could do a better job of calling out corruption in the industry and improving the way that we reported video games. And I'll tell you where that got me. It got me utterly cucked by Anita Sarkeesian, chewed up by the left, and spit the fuck out. Is that what this is about? <laughs> is, is he still ass mad oh, about no. Anita Sarkeesian being rude to him at, what was it, VidCon like five years ago or some shit like that? And keep in mind, look, I'm not the biggest fan of Anita Sarkeesian, okay? Like, I... What? You were fucking up her clit fucking oh, like a few days ago talking about like... You guys, <laughs> you guys <laughs> oh, it's so... It's so you should feel bad. You know, it's horrible for you guys to make fun of this woman who married herself on her own birthday. They're like, what yeah. the... F also, I want to point out that Tipster and Boogie are one and the same, and Tipster would totally find himself in that same situation with uh, Anita Sarkeesian, and she's like yeah. giving him the business, and he's like, uh, 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 I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, you know? That would totally be Tipster. Yeah, but at least at least when Boogie did it, he was actually sitting on the fence because he 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 wanted to sit on the fence. Tipster would yeah. do it because he has been forced over to the other side. Like, and it's I cannot right. like I cannot describe how fucking sad this is. If Tipster, if Tipster had just gone and like been his own thing and said, "Listen, I don't want to deal with commentary anymore. I don't, I don't fucking care about you guys. I'm sick of this shit. I'm just gonna go be my own thing." I mean, I, I mean, I hold my opinions and whatever. I, I probably wouldn't hate him as much. I think you guys, like, watching this has made me, like, actually fucking hate this guy. <laughs> it's just pathetic. It's actually sad That's to watch sure. anyone go through this. I hope his wife fucking leaves him. Jesus, she methods, can't. Really questionable <laughs> and stuff like that. I, I'm not a big fan of it. She physically can't. I actually think that... <laughs> what do you mean she physically can't? Well, don't fucking... I'm not getting uh, into it. Let's not get into it. <laughs> no, no, no. no. No, no. What did he do? Eat part of her? Like, what the fuck are you talking about? Uh, right, okay. Uh, <laughs> let it go. 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 <laughs> Press play on the video. DM me, Beavis. Let it go. She was unnecessarily rude to Boogie at VidCon. But, like, is that what this is about? Anita Sarkeesian was mean to you at VidCon, and now you want to side with, like, the worst people on the fucking internet and join Gamergate version 2.0? Oh, oh, what kind of fucking shit is this? Oh, that's sound I'm not going to make that mistake again. I like most sane people, just like fun video games. Hey, uh, I don't care sub, if the protagonist... Thank you very much. Jane, so CCC joined the Kuma Nation. Thank you very much for the Twitch sub. I do appreciate it. Agonist or the supporting characters are short or tall, fat or skinny, black or white, gay or straight, uh, big tits, small tits, negative tits, three dicks, ten dicks. I don't give a shit. I just play video games to have fun. I'm just here to have fun. Please make a fun video game. I also think diversity can be fun. I mean, there are plenty of fun games out there that feature diversity. Starfield seemed like a pretty well received game. Lots of diversity. Yeah. You fucking what? Yeah. Oh yeah, everyone yeah. loves Starfield. Yeah, how, hold on. At some, should I bring up the like what is it like fucking eight hour documentary or the four hour documentary or the three hour documentary or the other four? like people hated Starfield and it's not because of the diversity. To be fucking clear, it's, it's a bad fucking game. You're. A I fucking I hate this guy. Oh, Starfield's so good. Like but, Starfield. but but by the way, he's literally cut Boogie off to have his little rant. Yeah, and Boogie's Boogie basically Boogie's agreeing with about him. to yeah. say Boogie's about to say exactly what he said. Yeah. Fucking. Uh, Mad Max with the two my Lord Crabs is based. Thank you, buddy. <laughs> In that game, look at uh, what's the other one that everybody was going on about. Uh, Oh man, I'm, I'm I'm having a brain fart. It's the one that everybody tells me that I should play, and there's like tons of diversity in that game or whatever. Um, shit, I can't. Boulder's Gate Three, thank you, Emmy. Boulder's Gate Three, fantastic game. Lots Pause. of diversity in that game. So like, Pause. what is the diversity in Boulder's Gate? Is it because like the elves are technically like Jews or something? Well, didn't, like, I don't get that. Did someone have sex? <laughs> didn't someone have sex with like a bear in that you game? You can have a sex with a bear. You have sex with demons. You can fuck literally everything that walks. Does that constitute diversity? Well, but it's also have like with a bear in real life. But I mean. it's but it's also like isn't Baldur's Gate three like an RPG, almost like sandboxy kind of game? It's like yeah. a strategy so you just go game, around, yeah. do whatever, do whatever yeah. the fuck you want to do. You can, you can, you can, you can be very. A game like that is diverse. If a game like that isn't diverse, it's a shit game. Also, it's fantasy. It's got to be diverse. But also, you can, you can like, there's a choice really early on in the game to, like, help refugees, for example. Like, there are a load of tiefling refugees. You can, Nobody you did. can, like, not do that. You can, like, slaughter yeah, no, all did. the druids. I did. I that's like tieflings, they're based. Yeah. But, well, <laughs> I like the way Beavis is like, that's what I did. That's what I brought in. <laughs> but, yeah, like, that's uh, what someone I said in the chat, didn't Leon mention Tipster couldn't play those games because it was messing with his yeah. eyes, making him nauseous months ago? Yeah, he can't play, like, the new Resident Evil games because, like, the first person messes with his eyes, and he... So he can't even play his favorite game series. Good. Dude, getting old sucks. <laughs> getting old fucking sucks. <laughs> <laughs> fucking hate this shit. Like... 
having woke shit in a video game doesn't make it bad. Now, are there some examples where that shit gets forced in in a way that it just becomes pandering? Yeah, and that could ruin the experience for sure. But the majority of games that have like, you know, wokeness in them, they're just fine. There's nothing wrong with them. They're perfectly enjoyable. You can still have a lot of fun playing them. This is just cringe. This is just really fucking lame have to take away or detract from the video game give me cool character creators with crazy shit in it give me wild main characters give me storylines of things i would never experience in my own life and let me experience them there are so many games that do that countless and countless examples of games that do exactly what you're saying right now boogie and some of these people that you're now aligning yourself with would call those games fucking woke like what are you doing right now boogie else's eyes but it's got to be done well and it's got to be done fun when i look at the list of games that sweet baby has worked on i don't find any of the diverse storylines in spider-man 2 to be very fun or well done and we all know what we thought about suicide squad which was just an abomination i heard a lot of good things about spider-man 2 i fucking liar <laughs> liar liar okay okay did anybody i don't know did anyone enjoy the fucking death I'm girl spray sure points painting storyline sure. side quest thing I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure that Spider-Man 2 was so shit that people were even complaining about the the web like swinging mechanics how they made it feel janky. Pretty sure that was even a thing. Yeah, I I don't know. I think okay. people seemed like fucking excited for it and then didn't really care that much. I didn't hear anything good about God of War Ragnarok narratively from people who played it. They were like, "Oh yeah, it's like playing a cinema. It's like I don't think this is even a sweet baby thing. It's just like I was like watching a film. It was boring." Like yeah, I fucking tips is just coping. Uh, I didn't play it myself, but of the people that I know who did play it, they seem to have enjoyed it a lot. Like, I don't get it. I, I think the only people I've ever seen complain about a Spider-Man game, and it's always for like a stupid reason. Remember that yellow Flash guy who got really up in arms about Miles Morales not being Spider-Man because he's like a, a minority character? Do you remember that shit and how he got blown the fuck out for that? Those are the people you're aligning By yourself Nicholas with. Nicholas Diorio the ground up i personally think that curator list is a good thing and i'm going to use it to make informed decisions moving forward and as it stands right now because of the behavior of the people that work at that company plus their track record of the games they've worked on i'm not inclined to buy anything from sweet baby incorporated does that make me some white male uh, gamer uh, harasser monster then put me on the guillotine list i'll sign up right first i'm ready to go what the fuck oh my god what the fuck i've been ready to go since the first gamergate put me put me out of my misery you're around for the first gamergate you know the tools that you use, right? You've heard it all before. Everything is sexist. Everything is racist. Everything is harassment. Call it all out. Shoot everything down. He's gone all the way into the anti-woke grift at this point. Like, he's basically just a chubbier version of the quartering. If you don't like it, it's bad, and it must be taken away as long as you're somebody that works at Sweet Baby Incorporated. If you're a consumer like you or me, and you want to have a fun video game, well, then you're the asshole. Oh, and don't forget, if you're a white male gamer, especially an older one like me, it doesn't matter how leftist you are, it doesn't matter how much you support diversity, it doesn't matter how good of an ally you are, you are dog shit on the bottom of these people's heels, don't you ever forget. If you choose- This is literally just- Yeah, look at that guy that set himself on fire. What, uh, the one where, <laughs> like, the next day they were saying that they were, you couldn't, what was it, rest in power. We and people were like, yeah. He literally set himself on fire for the causes that you all support. And the next day you're like, well, uh, fucking uh, son of a bitch. He was in the He's military. <laughs> he is what, yeah, like, it's, there is nothing you can do. I, I like to think during this bit where Boogie's like, they will burn you. They will burn you. They do not give a fucking shit about you. I wonder whether it's running through Tips' head that this is literally just what's fucking happened to him with Keffels. Yeah, with Keffels, yeah. He hasn't it, realized Kef it yet. He hasn't. Keffels was literally in Nicholas Diorio's chat shitting on Tipster and then fucking made a video throwing Tipster under the bus and then got scared, deleted the video, and then made remade remade the video with the same context but just said just added the caveat. I really like Tipster though. Like that's a, like she fucked him She's over. She snaked him already, bro. Yeah. Just wait until the next one. Bro, it's going to take like five times. Back. No, bro, it's going to take like nine times for him. Well, no, really what, what you don't understand is he's got a knife in his back already, but it's he can't feel it because of the flaps. They protect the, the skin. <laughs> yeah. He's got too many layers. Yeah, too many layers. He can't feel the, the wound. <laughs> Press play. Poorly by Anidia Sarkeesian, Sarkeesian at, at VidCon. That's what this is about. That's. Do you guys remember what he said during... To, is there a video of that somewhere? Let me see if I can find that. Because, like, this is, like, the complete opposite of what he said on that panel. Okay. Here we go. Let's bring this up so we can see what Boogie had to say back then. Panel was Just so we're clear, while he's saying all this about Boogie, all this is about is that Tipster lost his friends in the commentary community. Like, that's all this is. Yeah. He has to be on yeah. the other side. This is all fucking projection. Fuck this guy. Yeah. Over in the moderator Tipster got replaced by Boogie. <laughs> I, I, I'll take that replacement, fuck it.
closing statement. Yeah. So I made a closing statement that took about a minute to say, and I said that I wanted to remind everybody in the audience that I am a person of privilege as a white cis male. And then I went over the types of attacks that happened to me again with the assassins and, and the boxes of feces and, and, and all of that kind of stuff. Wait, hold and, on. And just try to remind the audience that if, you know, I was boogie a person of privilege. He lives in the shithole he lives in. I'm pretty sure he got molested and raped. How is that privilege? <laughs> <laughs> like, because no, but, he's, but, but, he's but, a white man, no, Chris. But like what Boogie, what Boogie's okay. literally saying, but what Boogie's literally saying, he said it in his previous thing, right? He tried to be an ally. He tried. Yeah. yeah. And, and he's saying this, right? He's, he's, he's admitting, wrongfully so, but he's admitting the things that they teach you to believe about yourself, right? And they still didn't care. They still ate him alive. Because he right. will never be one of them. He's woken <laughs> up. He's woken up. He's woke. Whoever you are, if it can happen to me, it can happen to you. Maybe we need and to take the term woke back. This isn't a matter of How about that? <laughs> take it back and flip it. Yeah, woke just yeah. means really racist. Yeah, woke <laughs> means you woke up. You woke yeah. up from the <laughs> Of identity politics, this is a human rights <laughs> issue. That I think these types of attacks are human rights violations, and that we should all consider that so that we can be unified against them. A couple more panels. So he was speaking out against like gamer gators at the time, right? And now he's decided he wants to join them to buy their shitty games. Then you are the enemy. And if you, Tiffy, if you want to play this game, them, buddy, oh, we yeah, can you're right. Hold everything that you've said in the past against you, you little yeah. piece of shit. Yeah, you've done the same thing, tipster. Oh, it's time. You want to play that game? <laughs> Let's play, play that game. game. Yeah. Might yeah, very yeah. well find your Steam account gone when you wake up in the morning. That's who you're up against. And I think it should be abundantly clear this is not another harassment campaign. And you, or nobody, should be harassing anybody. We've shown in this video that if you give these people enough time and enough time to speak and a platform to do it on, they'll self-destruct on their own. You don't have to do anything yep. but wait. So I do recommend, if you're somebody who works for their money and has it in their pocket and only wants to spend it on fun video games instead of the games that these people have made, well, I think that's probably the right thing to do as well. Even though they'll probably still call that harassment. At the end of the day, I set the last one out, and uh, I felt like I was on the wrong side of history there. And uh, it certainly didn't serve me. So gamers- You thought you were on the wrong side of history last time, Boogie? Do you know the people who were associated with Gamergate the last time around? They weren't good people. Who are they? Anybody who knows me- who were they? Hey, hey, wait, just, who, just who wait, just wait, wait, just let it say the names. Right. I do not overuse terms like, you know, racists and Nazis and, you know, uh, <laughs> misogynistic shit like that. I think that there's a lot of people in the online left who do overuse a lot of those types of terms. But like, these were literally the kind of people who were associated with Gamergate. You talk all this stuff over the years about how much harassment you've gotten, uh, how you've been swatted, how you've been doxxed and all these horrible fucking things that have happened to you. And now you've decided that that's the kind of people you want to align yourself with? The kind of people that would do that kind of shit to the targets of the previous Gamergate? You want to align yourself with those kinds of people now, Boogie. You think that that's the right side of history? Okay, buddy. Uh, you want to align please. yourself with the people that don't like my friends? You want to align, oh, yourself, you, you wanna align <laughs> yourself with the people that I was aligned with three years ago? That's crazy, bro. Yeah, what a horrible thing for you to do, Boogie. <laughs> I, I think it's real interesting that someone who's a Metica fan is saying this. Like, he, yeah. he, you know, yeah, what about, what about Jim? Like, you fucking hate Jim now? And you know what the worst tipping? thing is? You know what the worst thing is? He's not even, when he had all these opinions, like, three years ago, you can't even use the excuse that I would use for, like, younger people, where I'm like, oh, you know, they were like a 15-year-old, they were still trying to figure out, ah, he was a 17-year-old, he was still trying, this guy's a fully grown fucking man. Hey, boys, we got something. His mm. opinions are there already. They're very hard to change. I very rarely can you do a complete genuine like fucking 180 the way that this man has done it. it just doesn't happen. So uh, one of those quote unquote Nazis that Tipster's talking about, Tipster made a video defending him. Uh, oh, no, not, a, not a video defending Medicare. The person that Kevils hates the most, other than Destiny. I, I mean, I, 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 I for one, one am shocked. Shocked to my core. Let's watch it. The next thing I want to talk to you guys about is it just seems like YouTube can't seem to do anything right nowadays. I'm really glad. He looked happy back then. My time and energy Look how happy he looks. I know people have their <laughs> kind of He really does, actually. He looks so full of life. He looked so much better. <laughs> How long ago? Four years? Damn, those four years were rough, bro. <laughs> <laughs> he kept getting... One, one down. One down.
I think I'll be fine on Twitch. But YouTube just, I don't know what it is. This platform is going to shit. <laughs> it's, it's so bad. Every time I turn around, they're making some stupid change that no one fucking wants, or uh, there's some new policy that hurts oh, a lot kind of, of creators, like in the video games, some huh? glitch that is like yeah. uh, freaking terminating people's channels unexpectedly. It's a madhouse over there. I don't know what the fuck Susan is doing, but somebody needs to take over the reins because clearly that woman doesn't know what the fuck she's doing. In any case, we're going to talk about a creator uh, who's been a long time staple on the platform. I've been on YouTube, both as a user from the viewer side, as well as a creator, uh, since 2006. Boss. I remember seeing this guy's content way back then. Germ70 with the two. Daddy Jim, you have forsaken me. No, you have <laughs> forsaken Daddy Jim. What are you doing? You just called him. You just, you just alluded that Medicare was a Nazi. Medicare was like one of the bigger Gamergate guys. Yeah. Okay. And he's gone by many names over the years, uh, but uh, most recently he's gone by the name Mr. Medicare. Uh, if you aren't familiar with his previous names, I believe his first channel was Jim81 Jim, and then he was the Internet Aristocrat, and like I said, now he is yeah, known as Mr. Medicare. Mm -hmm. And uh, like I said, he's a longtime staple on the platform. He does some pretty edgy fucking content in comparison uh, to you know YouTube and stuff like that and other content creators. And in all honesty, I'm surprised he's lasted as long on the platform as he has because of the kind of content uh, that he does. But I do enjoy his stuff. I don't always agree with the guy's opinions, but oh, you do? He's really good. He does a really good job of researching his topics, and he's insane. You enjoy the stuff, watch, tipster? Even if you don't necessarily agree. Really uh, entertaining to watch. Wow. That, Something that we all knew was probably coming to his channel eventually has finally come. That's because YouTube has decided to demonetize his whole channel. So no surprise there. It was inevitable for Mr. Medicare. But the reason they gave for demonetizing his channel is literally, literally fucking ridiculous. So what exactly was the reason that they gave for demonetizing Mr. Medicare's channel? Well, let's go ahead and have a look see, shall we? Bring up this tweet here where he tweets out the following to at Team YouTube. Now at Team YouTube, could you point out exactly which videos this refers to? I'm super curious as we can see here this is a screenshot of basically his channel being demonetized account status currently ineligible for monetization your channel does not comply with the youtube partner program terms you can reapply to join the youtube partner program in 30 days on december 4th 2019 so they're giving him the option to reapply uh by the way felronis thank you for the subscription i do appreciate it but uh they're giving him the option you can reapply in 30 days why was he demonetized here's why your channel wasn't approved for monetization um uh, reused content reused content Repurposing someone else's content without adding significant original commentary or educational value. Now, do you, do you remember what Jim did to fight this? Uh, no. He 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 nah. basically made weather. He like made MS Paint cartoons as oh, yeah, weather yeah, yeah, reports yeah. and called himself a weatherman. And then he was like, "And Susan, where's my fucking money?" <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Uh, somebody with a two, Team Boogie all the way, tips your socks. But anyway, you get the point, right? Yeah. With this, he's defending. Uh, he's defending Medicare. Let's go back to the fucking video. Just, just quickly as well, because he's talking about like, oh, these are these are the bad people. Can just as a reminder of why people hate Brianna Wu. Brianna Wu went after yeah. Total Biscuit. Total Biscuit mm -hmm. had a podcast with uh, like a massive female creator on it from the games industry. He was massively pro uh, diversity and wanted to see more women and more minorities in gaming. And then even after his death, Brianna Wu painted him as a transphobe and a bigot. Like yeah. after he died of cancer. Like, let's be clear, Tippy is going over to that side as well because, you know, there were fucking bad actors on the pro, mm -hmm. like the anti-Gamergate side. They were fucking assholes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Stefan Corbino with the five. Wonder why Tippy thinks about Jim's sausage factory videos. Uh, also, thank you to Stefan Corbino, who's the one who sh uh, who found the uh, Medicare video that Tips your did. So well, appreciate back that. it. I have something to send to you right now. Tipster's uh, side piece is spooked by Willie Mac show right now. Ooh. she spooked. Willie uh, got something. <laughs> she <laughs> Willie got yeah. something. All right, we'll, we'll get to that. Let's finish this fucking yeah. video. We're almost done. Yeah, almost I, I've been granted a do over here. I Wasn't one of the people okay? One of the people that was a big name in Gamergate the first time around was Ethan Ralph. Hasn't Ethan Ralph like harassed uh, you numerous times over the years? And now you're you you friends with the Ethan Ralph. Of people like him, Boogie. What are you doing? That's not true. Uh, not decided. true. They are going to give me a chance to write pause. The ship. pause. 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 But also, you, you were literally buddies with Ethan Ralph. You fucking would retweet him and be under his replies and fucking talk about how funny he is. And also, fucking Ethan Ralph was going around saying fucking Boogie like like liked being molested. Okay, so like I don't think Boogie's the biggest fan of Ethan Ralph. Just because they're on the same side doesn't mean they're best friends. Yep. No, but I mean, can you? I mean, just as contrast, if that other video that we just watched where he's uh, defending Medica, you can just see the change in how he approaches these things, right? So when yeah. he's talking about Medica in the beginning, he's like, 
And like some of the things the guy does, I don't agree with him. But you know, he's still a pretty funny guy, and you know, I enjoy his content and blah blah yeah. blah. And now you've got the other side. <laughs> you got the other yeah. side that's just like, why would you ever associate with these people? You fucking piece <laughs> of shit. Hey, Tim, so yeah, was, was still... to, uh... Go ahead, Beckett. No, no, go on. Do you shut up? Uh, shout out to Pigeon Salad for the bad with money for seven months. Thank you, sir. Isn't <laughs> isn't this a tr- case with Tipster though? With some of the shit Keffels has pulled, but like, t- is Tipster now pro platforming a pr- pro like a targeted he's, campaigns? He's fucking close. He's so close. Uh, I'm, I I I'd love to see him jump through hoops when Keffel starts doing that shit again, and be like, "Look, guys, I don't really agree with it, but I love Keffels." I want to make sure that I'm on the right side of fun video games and fun, well-written diversity, and nowhere else. Guys, as always, thanks for watching. I love you very much, and I will speak with you again soon. And I just realized my career outlasted Anita Sarkeesian by quite a bit. Hmm. Maybe I won that after all. Jeez. Anyway, uh, so that's the video that kind of like sparked like this conversation <laughs> that happened on Twitter in regards to uh, Boogie's <laughs> interesting take on all of this. So uh, let's go ahead and let's take a look at some of the responses because initially, like, the tweet where he announced the video was a stupid one. Hot take video games are supposed to be fun, not lecturing uh, lectures about uh, being white, uh, being how, how being a white man is bad. And so a lot of people started asking, uh, where's the games that do that? Xander Hall chimed in, name one mainstream game that lectures you on why white people are bad. We have the Surf's TV asking pretty much the same question. Which video games lecture you about being a white man being bad? We have this person, Mighty Keith. This is 100% a genuine question from me. What video game does this? Okay. Even I chimed in to ask the question. I'd be interested in knowing which video games lecture players on how being a white man is bad. Can you suggest any, Boogie? Because I haven't seen any. Boogie decided to respond to a lot of these questions by stating stuff like this. Jesus Christ, is it really this easy to upset that beehive? Me, I am a white man and I like video games. The internet, that's not what you said. You made a ridiculous fucking claim about how video games are lecturing white men about how they're bad, right? And then when people asked you, can you show us an example of a game that does that? You couldn't give us one. He then goes on to Kobe even well, it's more. Not, it's, not, it's, it's not that, awesome. right? It's not that. It's that I get what Boogie's trying to say. Maybe there isn't a video game that says it directly, right? But I'll use like a, a tangential one because it's it's more applicable. It's kind of like when everybody... Okay, shocker, guys. Being straight is normal, right? Per the definition of the word, it is the norm, Right? So when I go and I play my video game, I expect it to be somewhat representative of reality. But it is not. <laughs> I like the way you that say your really video awesome. game. I, I like that. That's it. That's it's really cute. <laughs> when I go to play my video game. <laughs> Sorry. But yeah, like I don't disagree with you. Like it is it, like from their perspective, what they want to see is, and this is a lot of like if you read if you've unfortunately had to read sociological stuff, it's like, well, if we like move the like perception through media, it'll change public perception, and that that's true. It's why that's we say poli- do. well, it's why we say police officer ra- uh, rather than police man or police woman. It's it's all these little things, but it's really interesting. They did some studies um, on kind of how many like they they I think they polled like large amounts of the American public, and they were like, how many people do you think are gay? How many people do you think are trans? And the numbers were like way fucking higher than reality because people's media exposure to it is so much higher and it's happened it happens on the right as well don't get me wrong like the right's like they're coming for your kids they're coming for your kids but the actual yeah. rates of people like transitioning at a young age are, are minute they're, they're they're basically fucking non-existent and it's just that the media does this it highlights things sorry i'm turning a twitch poll again fuck it wild getting called alt-right at the moment because i said video games shouldn't shame white men i literally voted democrat since i was able to vote donated yearly to the human rights campaign raised money for trans charities helped uh start up a game store that was an lgbtq plus safe zone in arkansas was in an interracial relation oh my god this last one's got to be the funniest one was in an interracial relationship in the south in the 80s and 90s and got my ass beat for simply loving a black woman my only offense is being a white man who likes video games and I got lit the fuck up by these people. Like he's going down like the checklist about like, hey, I can't be a horrible person because I've done all of these things that make me not a horrible person. Yeah, exactly. Trans girl Jane. He literally, uh, I have a black friend. He's literally, I have a black friending us. Yeah, that's literally it, right? Jeez. Uh, somebody else quote tweeted him saying, uh, motherfuckers really try to throw stones and hide their hands. Yeah, true. 
then we have this. What is this? This fuzzy person says, yeah, this is a point, uh, though I think there are plenty of people who would still crap on him. Uh, but to start a few examples would go a long ways. Uh, basically asking for more examples of games like that. Whether I make a list of video games with forced diversity and bullshit or not, it doesn't change the simple fact that video games are supposed to be fun, not lectures. Again, not giving any examples and refusing to give any because he knows it's he's full of shit. Like, you might find some obscure indie game who, that does something like that, but I guarantee you, you will not find a mainstream title who does that. Because let's be real, okay? Let's, let's, let's not make this a woke thing or whatever. Let's just be real for a second. Video game companies make games to make money. Why would they try and alienate, intentionally alienate a portion of their audience to You're make You're talking money? about fucking 2.6% you insult... of the population. They don't need to include them. It's not necessary. Don't make the money argument with me. They are a minority. They are a puny minority. Don't make the fucking money argument with me. There's no need for it. I hate that argument that they make. Oh, why would they want to alienate this, this large proportion of their, their user base? It's not a large proportion. Stupid. Press play. It's a portion of their audience. Your audience, they're not going to buy the game and they're not going to play it. All right? So... Again, you might find Large some little niche indie game that does something like that, but you're never going to find a mainstream title that does that. It's counterproductive to their end goal, which is making money. There are a lot of white men who play video games, okay? They're not going to alienate that crowd. Jake, I think video games are supposed to be fun and not lectures about uh, much of anything, really. The fact you are having trouble agreeing with that is wild to me. It, it, it's not so much that. It's that you've chosen to align yourself with genuinely horrible people, Boogie. Do you not realize the kind of people who you're aligning yourself with at the moment? They're not good people. I actually chimed in on this because I, I thought the comments he made, especially in his video, were fucking insane. This is what I had to say. Boogie 298 becoming the quartering ripoff wasn't on my 2024 bingo card, but it should have been. He's lost a lot of relevancy in recent years, and his bank account is looking rather empty these days. And being the lovable Mr. Rogers character of the internet wasn't working anymore because people got a chance to see behind the curtain. Isn't it kind of fucking wild that Tips has just gone through this with Bosch? Like, he's just gone through jumping yeah. into something that he shouldn't have and it burning him to the fucking ground. And his next response is, let's do it again. This man is fucking dude, that's retarded. What was, that's what I said. That's what I said on my stream. I was like, dude, imagine you go from defending Lollicon to now I'm jumping into Gamergate 2 on the wrong side of history. You are jumping from one major drama to another. Like, what is wrong with you? Take a break, bro. Fucking idiot. Take a break. Keep please. muting myself to slay slows. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying really hard. It's a fucking struggle. I do, listen, I I watch some fucking annoying people, and like I don't have this much problem, many problems normally. Holy fuck! Curtain. God damn it! Don't you hate that when you see like a tweet that you made, and it's like beyond the like time frame where you could edit it? God damn it! Fucking typo. Anyway. <laughs> People got a chance to see behind the curtain and get a good look at what the real boogie is like, and surprise, surprise, they didn't like it. Not to mention the fact that the anti-woke grift is extremely profitable, and I can imagine seeing folks like the quartering and Melanie Mack rake in mountains of cash on that grift looks rather appealing to a has-been with a career on life support whose only current claim to fame is being the co-host of a podcast hosted by Keemstar, where you are literally there just for the purpose of being mocked by everyone on the internet for being a lol cow. But hey, anything for a quick buck and a taste of cloud, eh, boogie? I mean, Even at least he's monetizing it. The worst it. People on the internet. You're doing you it for free, Boogie. Ethan, fuck, you, oh, you called him Boogie again. Oh, <laughs> that blindness he is a thing. He literally went on fucking Ethan Klein's Streamy Awards and was a big joke. Yeah. He literally did that. Exactly. I, I, the fucking delusion of this man, Tippy. Tippy, do you really think that Ethan Klein wanted a fat lard like yourself to introduce his Game Awards? Do you think there wasn't a joke there? <laughs> Are you that uh, delusional? Somebody with the 10, you know, Tipster is Gripster when he says that you can be the most inclusive person alive, but it doesn't make, a good, make you a good person. But not being inclusive makes you a Nazi. Make it make sense. <laughs> internet glad to know that all uh the kind words and encouraging messages you've tried to deliver in your videos in the past didn't mean shit and that it was all just a facade to try and convince everyone that you're somehow the good guy of the internet i hope for your sake that grift wor was worth it boogie cheese somebody actually asked boogie what his thoughts were on my comments did he just he cheese says, his own fucking <laughs> tweet <laughs> Yes. Was he like, oh man, you speaking the truth right there? Oh my god. Yeah. Do you think? Do you think? <laughs> do you think he has an alt account where he'll tweet out, switch the alt account, and like it? Retweet it? Yeah, probably. Yeah. Hipster. It's a good litmus test. I'm on the right track. Really? 
I then proceeded to quote me him by saying, I'd rather be me than pander to alt writers like you are. Using libs of TikTok as a source, the person who literally caused a children's hospital to receive bomb threats over her bigoted posts? Yikes, Boogie, you've lost the plot. He literally- No, not the soundboard. Children's hospital. Oh shit, oh shit. Bobby got a bomb. There's, there's a bomb in the pediatric ward. Oh, oh shit, shit, oh shit, shit. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just reading chat. Did he do the Ethan Klein thing for free? I think yep. so. Yes. God, yeah, fucking did. loser. He cited when somebody was asking him for evidence of the claims that he was making, he literally cited libs of fucking TikTok, Jack. He then says, before I hop off Twitter for a while, I have pissed off a lot of people of color and uh, the LGBTQ folks in the past 24 hours. Know that I still love you and will always fight for you when I can, but it won't change my opinion that video games are meant to be fun and not lectures. I am not sorry about that. Boogie. Boogie. You're telling people of color and like, you know, LGBTQ plus folks that you love them and you support them while you align yourself with people who are outraged by their existence. While you align yourself with people who are mad that black characters exist in video games or gay characters exist in video games or trans characters exist in video games, that there are pronoun selection options in video games. Fucking pronoun! How can you tell these people that you love double them and you support them? The well, We've reached double digits with the soundboard counter. Also, supporting these people. It doesn't make sense, Boogie. Of course oh, it makes sense. I was being petty here, but you know what? Fuck it. I'll include this too. Tipster, Are you going tipster. To get me so hold, on. So hold on, hold on. Tippy, as a human being, as a rational human being, right? You... You're capable of agreeing with some things some people say and not all of the things that those people say. True. Right? You, you, don't, you don't all need to be you don't all need to be eating out Mama Clara. Right? <laughs> that that's not how it has to be. You don't need to agree with everything that somebody else says. They can make a good point every once in a while. <laughs> he, the, equivalent, the equivalent of what tips they're saying, right, is if a Nazi had to be like, oh, fucking pedophiles are bad, and then I go, yeah, pedophiles are bad, and then he turns to me and says, you just agree are with you the really going to, are, are you really going to agree with that Nazi over there? Isn't, really, bro? Isn't that what he did during the Bosch thing? Like, literally, that's literally what he did. He was like, Ethan, Ethan, aren't you, can't you see who you're aligning yourself with when attacking Bosch? Think, think about mm -hmm. the politics. This is literally what he did. Like, it's not even a joke. It's fucking yeah. The dude has no principles at all. I, I, this is a this is a hollow shell of a man. The biggest mistake he made was taking the sunglasses off, so you can see how dead his soul is behind his eyes. <laughs> fucking <laughs> God! I can't believe he's watching his own video back. Like yeah. oh my god! Like just tell them about the tweet. Have some well, self-respect. He's watching his own video and putting it in his highlight. Dude, he you're gonna see his face. He's so proud of this. Like you can see it. He's like, yeah, I'm like Nick. I made something funny. <laughs> you can <laughs> see it on his face. He gets so happy. <laughs> and you know, last time this Gamergate thing happened all those years ago, I feel like I was on the wrong side of history. I was just kind of a, a bit of a fence sitter last time. And so this time I want to make sure I'm on the right side of history. You know, last time that big meanie Anita Sarkeesian was so mean to me at VidCon and I didn't like that very much. So this time I'm going to side with all the racists and the Nazis and stuff like that because they seem to think I'm a really cool guy. And Look how happy he is. He's so, he's so proud of himself. Uh, this time around. I you know, did right, Kepples? That you know, at least you know, racist and not There's racist so and much projection in this clip right now. Stand by them this time because what he's looking at is the chat. Ha ha ha! I love this. GG Tippy. Oh my God! Died from laughter. Like, yeah, look, look how happy he is. Chad, if I make a joke and I react to it, you better say I'm funny too. Dude, there. he's like that fat kid that you give candy to. He's like, oh, thank you so much. <laughs> he's like, I'm so happy right now. <laughs> <laughs> Literally the face he makes when he gets his food at the drive-in. I've been, you know, I've been watching, I've been watching this chat, and there's not even any real jokey messages towards Tipster. Like, if you look at a normal, a normal person's chat, like, not, not even in commentary, just a normal person, there'll be a jokey comment taking the piss, and that, that'll be allowed to stand. But this shit, no, no, it's all, it's all gotta be pro-Tipster, it's all gotta protect him, in his little fucking hug box, I say, I say little, fucking hug cage, fucking Christ. Oh my god. Jesus. You know That's literally if you replace if you replace right Boogie 
And then if you replace uh, the boogie with Tipster and you replace Anita Sarkeesian with uh, yeah. Augie, Nicholas, and um, uh, Bobax, right? Mm-hmm. It's literally a Tipster clip. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what clip I'm talking about, by the way? Do you guys know this infamous clip where Boogie was talking about like how at least Nazis uh, stand by what they believe in or whatever? Can I find this? You know what's ironic? Damn right. I could not. Damn yeah. right. What, this is ironic, right? When this happened, Tipster was like, Boogie, don't feed the trolls. You're better than this. Blah, 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 blah. Now, because he's in a beef with Boogie, he's going to throw the trolls in Boogie's face and go, <laughs> remember that time you had a meltdown and said that rapists and Nazis are better than your trolls? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm yeah. saying. Like Tipster's, Tipster's just as bad as everybody else, and he tries to pretend. He tries to get on this pedestal that he's not. He's just as petty. He's just as much of a dipshit. Like I, he's, I like, think he's, he's worse. Not... I think he's worse. Yeah. I actually, I legitimately think he is worse. Because at least when other people do it, they they at least continued the grift, or they believe it. I don't think Tipster believes any of it. I think the only thing Tipster thinks is, I hope people like me, and that is like this is an adult man. Who hopes people on the internet like him? What? What a pathetic loser! I want to see the, the Nazi. I want to see if I agree. I believe this even back then when he said it. Look at this shit, chat. I'm gonna say as much shit and do as much shit as I can to keep your attention, so you don't do it to somebody else. I'm here for you to torture me and only me. I'm gonna make a living letting you torture me. I'm gonna be the next Dark Side Phil. I'm gonna be the next Wings of Redemption. I'm gonna spend every day online. Or shadowing. Fucking busy, so you don't do it to somebody yeah. else. I'm gonna be on a podcast with the, with Wings of Redemption. I want you to know. I think you are the lowest of the low. I think you are the worst of the worst. I think that there are fucking rapists and Nazis out there who, even though they are rapists and fucking Nazis, they are more redeemable than you because at least they're doing something they fucking believe in. They may be pieces of garbage. They may be pieces of shit. They may harm other people, but at least they believe what they fucking stand for. You stand for nothing. I still can't believe you fucking said that. That is fucking insane. You know what the irony of this is? What's wrong with that? (laughs) <laughs> Nothing. It's just the it's just the funniest thing he's ever put out. He's, he's having but a manic breakdown during all that. It was but, weird. But the irony is, he's talking about Tipster. That's what Tipster is. It's someone who stands for nothing. It has no values. Is just jumping around trying to get some fucking attention. <laughs> it's yeah, at least the rapist. You know, at least the rapist believe in what they're raping. You know what I mean? Yeah, look, I didn't know. I don't know. I know about the rapists. The Nazi one, I could see. I don't know about the rapists. <laughs> We're Beavis learning a lot about Beavis. Nazis, <laughs> I can go side the Nazis. Okay, but not the rapists. I don't know. I don't know what intellectual argument the rapists are. Chat. Would you rather be a Nazi or a rapist? Why not both? <laughs> a Nazi rapist. A Nazi rapist. I did not they, see wait, that rapist rape, coming. Wait, do they rape Nazis or are they a Nazi that rapes people? A Nazi that rapes. Okay. okay. So we go Nazi rapists. Which actually is pretty good because, like, that means a good proportion of society are safe. Yeah. Wait, it depends. Like, would they. Never mind. I don't want to get into uh, this. Talking, let's talk. no, no, no. I don't want to get into this. I thought about that too. I, I thought about that too, but I didn't want to have that conversation. It's like, who would the Nazis <laughs> actually rape? Because I'm kind of confused. <laughs> we, can't, we can't. No, don't start a poll, Vault. No, we're not starting a poll. Are they doing it to the people they like or the people they don't like? This is going to be a great short for Hellbent. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, God. Okay, hold on. I got an idea. I got an idea. I got an idea. All right. So, all right. So, chat. Chat. All right. So, we're going to do a poll. Okay, we're going to do a poll. But the poll is not going to be Nazi rapists. All right. So, the Nazis are the uh i don't think i don't think we should do that as a poll i think we should do ones and twos i'm not gonna lie with i'm not gonna lie with you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. that's like actually a way better idea one one if you'd rather be a nazi two if you'd rather be a rapist how about that i'm curious we'll do what that. chat's gotta say i'm actually curious like guys, you have to be guys, one guys 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 yes don't you think that when Tipster says no homo, that's a bit homophobic. True. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Not deeply. Yeah. But uh, no, what I actually wanted to say is that um, I think the difference between Boogie and Tipster, well, other than one of them having a hot girlfriend, um, is that Boogie is kind of like, well, he trauma dumps, but he embraces that he's pathetic. He's like, mm-hmm. hey, look at me. I'm such a pathetic little wretch. Haha. But Tipster will 
die before he admits that he's pathetic. He'll be like, oh, you call me pathetic? Well, I'm going to block you on Twitter and go to a community where, you know, we have to use all of the pronouns. Like, yeah. he just will never, like, in that way, I think Boogie is more self-aware. True. Bro, I'm looking at these fucking twos in you know, the chat. You guys are sus as fuck. No, there's a lot of people not playing this game. They're like, no, nope, no, nope, no, nope, not answering. <laughs> it's because a lot of them a lot want of to, a lot of them want to be space. both, Matt. And you haven't provided them that option. So clearly, their silence speaks volumes. Okay. Okay, we're gonna right, watch. Uh, we're gonna watch uh, the very end of this. We've got. On, no, I, let's finish right. this, and then I got another right. clip can, for you. Can we? Can we reach a, like a consensus? Right? Rapists are worse than Nazis. Like, objectively. Mm, a rapist no. is worse than... No. What do you mean? A... Nazism is an ideology. An ideology. And racism is a hobby? You know, you know, yeah, you know we eugenics. moved on enough that you didn't have to say anything. You could have been, you could have been fine. Why, why are you doing this? Yeah, can we just, like... Uh, I will uh, die on that hill. I will die on that hill. We'll debate okay. it later. We'll okay. debate it later. <laughs> we'll oh God, it, 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 I just remembered what I was gonna, was gonna say. Do you get my point now where, when I said that, I think Lyo Convoy's wife is locked in the same basement as Tipster's? <laughs> oh, fine. No, shut, shut the fuck up! Shut the fuck up! No more, okay? Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave you to your panel of cis white guys. I Bye. strongly disavow. Bye. How are they equally bad? They aren't equal. It's not even a content. Um, I'm not <laughs> debate I'm later. Not we'll do do I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do uh, where I quote tweeted him, actually a couple of my previous tweets where I quote tweeted him that you couldn't see the tweet I was quote tweeting, obviously I showed it to you guys before showing you my quote tweet, but you couldn't see the original tweet I was quote tweeting uh, you know, when I was showing my quote tweet, right? That's because Boogie couldn't handle my criticism. He couldn't handle the fact oh, that Boogie I'm right. me. You're aligning yourself with really fucked up people, Boogie. Show and your, as a result of that, Yeah, show your block list. All... Show yeah. your block list, pussy. Yeah, show so your block you list. blocked all of commentary. Pussy, all over you, you can handle Twitter the right criticism. Now. He, and I, I didn't even give him any criticism, and I got fucking blocked. And you know what? Good. Good. Fucking block uh, me, Tipster. Is there a way that you can see how many people people have blocked? Is there like a thingy? I don't think so. Teddy with a 999. Rapist versus Nazi. Pick a side, Western man. <laughs> so if this is the road there you want to no go side. down, you want to be, objectively uh, you know, the right choice. Oh my god, Beavis. <laughs> If you had to, Beavers. if you had to, he won't let it go. He won't let it go. He won't let it go. <laughs> press, press play, please. Ordering, <laughs> like, go else. right ahead, okay? You do you. Uh, I hope the grift is worth it. You know, maybe it'll make you relevant again. Maybe it'll boost your career again. Uh, I'm not really sure, but I hope for that your sake your it works out because, god damn, I... <laughs> I don't know what you're thinking right now, Boogie, but this is fucking insanity. That was literally his hope, and then right, Kessel's got We're fucking done. curb stomped. All right, Beckett, I sent you a time... Before we get into this, I sent you... Someone sent me a timestamp and said, we need to check this out real quick. Uh, my thoughts on Boogie2988's comments on what? gay marriage what? five years ago. What, what, what a title. title. Oh, super quiet, hold on a sec. What a title, bro. Used. What and what as a, a result, title? somebody went fucking crazy and decided to go on a killing spree or whatever, killing members of the LGBTQ community. I don't think anybody wants that. We all want the equality, but we don't want to see anyone get hurt either. And the problem is, whenever you have these people who nitpick and they just pick out little parts of a conversation that they want to have issue with, suddenly they go on this hate campaign. It's not just, you know, disagreeing with someone and arguing with somebody over their opinions. Uh, it literally gets to the point of, let's ruin this person's fucking life because they have a different opinion than what we have. And that is a huge huge problem if you really want to educate people on change and you really want to see things change in society for the better potentially pissing off someone who has a different view than you is not a good thing it's a good thing that boogie is a kind-hearted person because if he was anyone else he might have reacted to the situation extremely negatively and it would have had the opposite effect of what you want to achieve but people were attacking him on Twitter or, you know, arguing with him, which to some extent arguments fine. You want to debate someone on their opinions. I think that's totally fine. In fact, I think that debating people that have differing opinions can be healthy, uh, you know, for our society in many ways. Not only can you see the opposite, you know, perspective of someone, you can kind of see, you know, this is By why the way, he's never this done way. That. He's too much of a pussy. He's, he's a big agree to disagree kind of guy. But yeah, I guess this clip is showing how, like, this is tips for giving Boogie the benefit of the doubt and defending him.
How times have changed. All right, now Beaver's take on gay marriage. Let's go. No, 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 no. no. Okay. All right, now let's get to the Keffels uh, thing. So uh, Clara, a.k.a. Keffels, tweeted out, I'm sorry, but this is really weird behavior. He subscribed to multiple Patreons. I run to make an epic takedown video of me. I blocked him twice, and he DM'd me two, day, uh, two days consecutively to try to get more dirt on me. This just feels creepy. Uh, YouTubers aren't journalists. They do not uh, abide by any code of ethics, and I have no interest in participating in any of this. People can make as many Keppel's bad videos as they want, as is their right, but at what point does this just become stalking instead of research? Anyway, I blocked him. I'm not interested in fighting with him or doing some drama slop content about it. I am genuinely done with this incredibly toxic sphere of the of the internet. Uh, watch her be back again in like two days. Which she's already yeah, fucking yeah, back. She'll be back when that yeah, 100k fucking... runs out. <sighs> <laughs> it's kind of ironic that she's really mad and butthurt that Willie joined her Patreon, but Becky, can you pull up the thing I just sent you? Yeah, sure. Buddy. Thank you. Really, really ironic that she's really butthurt that Willie's doing a video on her, right? So, there's a creator <laughs> that she got into beef with where she told people to pretend to be black trans people and uh, kind of harass this creator. And if, Beckett, if you could show the screenshot towards the bottom a little bit. Uh, Keffel's pledged money to her Patreon oh. to uh, get them to talk to her. So, oh, Willie shit. doing that is harassment, but Keffel's doing this? Oh, it's totally fine. Yeah. Ironic. Ironic, you fucking bitch. Fucking <laughs> rules Typical for me Keffels. and not for thee. Or rules for thee and not for me. I just love it, dude. They keep catching themselves. Dude, yeah. Keffels is the queen of rules for thee and not for me. It's She's great. Tipster's queen. <laughs> All right. I think that's everything when it comes to Tipster. Uh, I'm going to check his Twitter real quick. Maybe he said something interesting. Maybe he uh, Maybe might have. going after Willie. Attacking his queen. Oh, dude, if Tipster like starts fighting with Willie Max show, that'd be great. Oh god. Oh god, what is that? You really yeah, the anime in the trash thing was a bit right. Oh god. Oh my gosh. Oh okay, my yeah, god. It's... Uh yeah, I I don't I don't really see anything worthwhile to react to. Just fucking other, tipster. Other than him being a coomer about the Twitch girl with the green well, pants. I wanna see I'm gonna see what his replies are at the moment. Uh, you are a gooner guy who calls streamers by their obscure retired porn handle. I didn't even know that was part of her past, nor do I care. Can't fucking call that. Uh, uh, we got some replies uh, from the Lily Mac show. I'm gonna send that to you, Beckett. Okay. You are very brave scrolling his Twitter live. Yeah, I, was about to say, I was just about to say you're gonna find something bad. Oh come on, if tips if, if fucking Beavers can get away with all the shit he said, I can bring up Tipster's weird fucking lolly stash on screen. Well, not, we'll not, not on the screen. <laughs> not, not on the screen. Not we'll on the have screen. A, we'll have a little Vosh moment. <laughs> It'll be fine. No. <laughs> okay, what am I what am I scoring for? Go, okay, so this uh, is this I is the quote the, tweet of the Yeah, yeah, it's up. It's up. It's up. That's one okay. hell of a thing, fucking trending on politics. Don't ask for any transparency when it comes to a crowdfunded lawsuit. <laughs> she will block you and then label you a stalker for looking at her platform, uh, her Patreon streams, uh, which is the only place she discloses information on it. Totally normal and not defensive behavior. And then there's another tweet, I think. Uh, oh, this, this more all hair. she, yeah, yeah. All she has to do is show the separate account with the GoFundMe money in it and what the money would spend on it. It would take 10 minutes. Uh, you can't make this up. I think, well, yeah, no, I, I agree. I agree with Will. We good? Show the money. Like, is there, is yeah, there yeah, more yeah. stuff? Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Just yeah. show the money. It's fine. This was this was money given for, for like, a public thing that needed to happen. Uh, you know, she had a, she had a yeah. very valid case. Everyone, no, no one disputes that ever, of course, obviously. Yeah. I'd say, I think if <laughs> Keppels was transparent with Willie right now, I don't think, I think Willie would uh, concede. And I think it would, you know, I think it, it, she could literally get Willie to concede. Uh, you know how this, big uh, of an own that issue. would be? You know how big of an own that would be? Yeah. On every, this is why you know that allegedly she's a fuck con artist, right? Because if she had just posted where the money went, it would have been the biggest own on all her haters. Yeah. Everybody that's in the commentary community, all the big guys that have been calling her out on it, like where the fuck did the money go? If she had just posted 
where that money went. Own. End of story. True. Dunzo. But she won't true, do it. True, true. Why? She's got she's got nothing. Zero. <laughs> she <laughs> like that bank account, dude. <laughs> oh god. And the worst thing is, right? She can't even be like, oh, I didn't keep I didn't keep receipts. Bitch, the money was given to you digitally. <laughs> it wasn't donated in cash. There's a clear paper trail of where the money is. And why don't you show it? All right, I believe I've, I've read all the YouTube donations. I have the Streamlabs up right here. So I'm going to read these. 99K up in it. <laughs> uh, Lizard Feed with the five says, I find it really funny that Tipster was calling someone else fat. And Niall with the two. I got to be very cold, careful when I write, uh, read this. No one got the joke, Mitch. Not even me. What even was it? Did anyone laugh? Are you okay? Do you have a head injury? Uh, JFA with the two. Pedo recording. Can you please remind Matt that there's a terrible burring noise coming from Matt's background? It's really agitating my migraines. And I think I do actually uh, hear it now. Okay. Uh, and then the Keffels Farms for two dollars. Mitch, can I borrow your bathtub? Mine's full. Uh, that was actually four days ago, so I didn't have to read that. One. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought it was a fucking okay. All right. All right, yeah, cool. If uh, any of you, do we have the link uh, for the streamlabs? That? No, no, not for the streamlabs. For Discord, maybe someone yeah, wants put, to call in. Yeah, I put it in the chat. I put it in the chat. I'm gonna put it in again. Okay. Oh wait, fuck you want to call guys. in? This is your opportunity. Yeah, I'll do it again real quick. Invite people. Copy. Call in. Everybody, uh, thank Beckett for being around to stream for us. We greatly appreciate it. Yeah, no worries. We yeah. would not be here if it wasn't for him. Uh, yeah, we'll abuse him more often. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and the thing, the thing about it, right, is uh, I think uh, as Beckett continues, you know, he's going to be uh, wasting a lot of time on these streams, and he's going to be bad with money. Those who are also bad with money, Joe Vile, Stefan Corbino, channel has been deleted. K Huck Cast, Pigeon Salad, Ringtail, Echo of Tragedy, Brooke A, Everborn, Strictly Patrick, Press Brewski, Jacob Thomas, Reynolds Hughes, and Mame. If you want to be bad with money, pay $14.99 a month. Get your name set up for every live stream, every now recording episode. If you can't afford that, you can become a Beaver Lover. Right now, we're taking calls. So if you're a Beaver Lover, you can go into Priority Call and we'll pull you right in. That's only $9.99 a month. Also, gets you early access to podcast episodes. And if you can't afford that, we have the Stumpies. $4.99 a month gets you access to uh, the now recording membership live streams, now recording exclusive membership episodes, as well as a paid uh, Discord server that's behind the paywall. And those are our membership tiers. Who the fuck is in here and why are they playing a game? <laughs> Confusing. <laughs> what the fuck do you think, Matt? Get in fucking play. I'm on my phone right now, though. All right. Well, I'm going to, like, pull Brick in because I got to talk. Brick wants to call in. Hello, Brick. Hi. Brickless. Uh, Yo. Uh, I think the channel deleted is is mine, by the way. So can I? No, I think it's it? ghosty. Oh, fuck. No, it's yeah, ghosty. yeah, but yeah, but it could be mine. Just 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 say it's mine instead. Okay. Um, uh, number two, you know, I just figured out. Hmm. What? Uh, that troll phase. You know the troll phase comic. The you, the the meme the troll phase. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just 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 figured it out today. I put two and two together. It's Hitler, actually. Did you guys know that? What? Yeah, it's what? Hitler. I, I'm gonna do a what? whole exposition on it. It's actually Hitler. Yeah, it's actually Hitler. Uh. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Rick? Seriously, seriously. This, this is big news. What do you mean? This is huge news. No, you ever knew this. The first one to fucking get to the bottom of this. I look forward uh, to watching the video. You you don't believe me? I want to see how you connect the dots. Uh, <laughs> Hey, look, 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 it's it's the truth. The truth is out there. You just have to find it, okay? I yeah. did my research and I know what I'm talking about. I mean, I don't I don't know. God damn it. I don't know what's going on right now. Is the tipster is fat or something like that? I mean, I agree the tipster is fat. Thank you. This is a big deal, man. You know, it would you know, if Hitler is troll face, what does that have implications for the rest of the internet? You, you know, I, well, I don't. I don't know where. I don't know where you're going with this, Brick. <laughs> <laughs> it's well. You know, tune in, watch my show uh, a little later. I'll, I'll let you guys know. And uh, okay. trust me, it's 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 big. It's big. Okay. Big. Big changes. Okay. All right. Uh, I'm I, looking I, forward I, to the expo. You're gonna dress up like Hitler, aren't you? Oh wait a minute! Wait a minute! This guy Hellbent says, "Hey, Brick, lay out the drugs." I wish I had drugs right now. <laughs> okay, this is yeah. bullshit. 
Yeah, yeah. By the way, you haven't uh, seen Drake on Drugs. Shout out, to Teddy. Shout out to Teddy for the 999 tipster block me. I how dare he? That's why the that's why the reason I hate him, I burned my tipster merch when I saw when I saw that. Why God why? And then Zyli gets real with the five. Say hi to Matt's AC. It's back. Yes. It's gonna be back. Yeah, you know, my AC shows up, you know, every summer. Every spring and summer. Uh all right, Brick. Anything else? Uh tipster's fat. Um no, I mean that's Thank you, sir. And we got a priority <laughs> caller. We got Lucifer, which I believe is Red Hood. What's up, man? Good day, Lucifer. Lu- Lucifer, you're on. God. Lucifer. I won. Lucifer, going once. Going twice. All right, thanks for the call. Fuck Lucifer. He has no and, power here. We are god uh, people. Lamar. <laughs> oh, gamers. God. What's up? What do, you, what do you mean, oh, God? What? <laughs> Hey, what's up, Lamar? How are you doing? Uh, balling, very busy. Face. But, yeah. Uh, so did you guys know that uh, Hitler's actually a troll face? <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> great, 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 Nazi versus like rapist argument. How no, no, it was shut a Nazi rapist. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> All right. I think I've well, said. Hold on. Every... Question. Confusing to Jew. He could answer this. Would you rather yeah. be a rapist or a Nazi? Why not both? That, That's okay. what I said. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. Uh, Alright, is there, uh, is there anyone who wants, anyone else who wants to call in? We'll pull you in. Alright, we'll try. Well, he's in Hangout, so I don't know if he's like wanting to call Pull him in, in again. Out. Pull him in again. Fuck Alright. Lucifer! Are you here? The power of Christ compels you! Oh, I'm about to exercise you. <laughs> If he's on mobile, like then he's probably going to struggle. Like, let's I go. Get... I'll, I there used to like be a really bad Discord hour. Discord glitch on mobile, but I don't think it exists. Anymore. So I think it's just his. Just no confusing. You lost to me, and I'm never playing Blazing Eights with you again. So what? Me, no, do. fuck you. No, it's because I'm, yeah, I'm, no, I'm. I already won. No, no, no. I already won. I already won. You can't. No, 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 no. no, 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 no. I already won. You already lost. Put your ass in here and see if you can beat me. Yeah, because I'm going to be on my desktop. Fuck you, Chris. First off, confusing. You're already my bitch because I pay you. Now you're a bitch to be okay, in fucking spawn, blazing though. it. You're, bl- yeah, you're a bitch get. to be in blazing it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Blaze it it go, go kick Xylee's ass. I gotta join on desktop. Fuck my phone. I'll, I'll lose. I'll lose the fucking bat Xylee. All right, bro. All right, all right. Beavers, Beckett, Chris, Xylee. You guys got anything you want to say? Tips uh, fat. Yeah, I might stream later. Come watch. Uh, tips are <laughs> a hypocrite, and I'm streaming later because I got some small stories to go over. Yeah. Open seed, go Follow subscribe. Go subscribe to Open Seed. Beavers underscore McWood. Follow me on Twitter. Follow Beavers. Beavers on Twitter. just wants to see your boobs if you're a woman. Follow is me that, on is Twitter. That like a problem. Follow All right, me. now recording's always recording. Have a good one. <laughs>